Listen, Art, uh, you can jerk off for, like, intellectual purposes, okay? <laughs> David's never done it before, but he's heard about it. <laughs> yeah, I heard you have to last long or something. <laughs> Alright, so Mary's here and settled. It's good, because Stalworth was just complaining that, you know, we have to wait for you. <laughs> you were still. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that the case? Nah, he lied. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it hasn't resolved anything. I, yeah, still I, was, yeah, I, don't, I don't know who to believe, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, believe Stallworth. <laughs> that's what I me. I always believe Stallworth. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how I lean, but yet there's still this doubt. <laughs> I would take Stalworth's words over my own, and I'm me. The problem is, is that Stalworth sounds disingenuous <laughs> even when he's telling the truth, <laughs> so it's hard to tell. Yes, yeah, that's just how my voice sounds, man. <laughs> it oh, should I hear it? I hear it. It causes him many, many problems in the life. Problem, <laughs> the problem is, is that he just always sounds like he's pulling one over on someone. <laughs> and, and so... You know, Are and you making fun of me? No, man. man on no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm not. Ready to begin. Hello. <laughs> what was that? Just, just talking to the fans. That was my, uh, you that's know. my starting the stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, David, David you know has, how you, you know how you used to sign off with kiss kiss. This is my signing on. Okay. Hello. hello. <laughs> Everyone in the comments, uh, please timestamp David's saying hello and then say hello back as a way of interaction. <laughs> Thanks, Pod. So. Thanks, Lod. Well, but... yeah, David, David's the one that carries us here, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. By the way, David, you want oh, to tell yeah. everyone to uh, like and subscribe once the video's over, or...? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. It's way too capitalist, am I right? Say, we, ha we haven't had the Catholic, uh, comment yet. Mm, no. No, we're... Do you want a story? <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. Alright, so... Perfect timing. So today was my grandfather's mass. So on like anniversaries of funerals, we dedicate masses to people who are dead. Okay. So this is a perfect time to tell that story that I love about his wake. Mm hmm So just in case, I have no idea if this is only Catholicism or whatever, so just make sure we're all on the same page. A wake is when you bring the dead body of someone into your house in the coffin. So people can give the body final words and whatnot, and the priest, there is a ritual the priest comes to do. Yeah, we don't bring them to so, our house. They, yeah, they, it's they usually at like a funeral home, home. And then, yeah, you can go and view them there, but we don't bring them into the house. Yeah, of course Americans found a way to make it more expensive. <laughs> well, I think we just have an infrastructure that allows us to get dead bodies out of our houses Same, quickly. You have Someday to... Ireland <laughs> may have that as well. <laughs> So, honestly, uh, I think it's our culture. We don't like death, and we like to remove ourselves from it. Losers. Yeah. I'm about to tell you a funny story about right. a wake, so... All right, but I know what a wake like... is. I I'm, I'm versed enough in history to understand what wakes are. Well, I mean, they still have wakes. They just do them at funeral homes. They, they just don't well, bring them into the your wake, house. The wake that David is talking ah. about. Well, Zach, you better of... keep an open mind, because in the communist utopia, it's going to come back to the home. <laughs> okay. I know, we're gonna be dressing our own dead bodies. Sure. In the future, we're just going, everyone gets, uh, just incinerated and unmarked, uh, urns. <laughs> and ashes Actually, scattered. that's my plan, yeah. I want to be spread over, like, a yeah. nondescript set of lands. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. I'm anyway. Alright. But, back to your grandfather. So the communist so utopia is sounding uncle. better all the time. All right. So my uncle and I are in the back garden, and my dad comes out the house. And he says, uh, my uncle's name is Jerry, so he's like, Jerry. Oh, wait, no, I, fuck, I told it wrong. Shit. <laughs> okay, start, start over. I'll, I'll, erase, I'll fix it in erase, editing. I'll fix it in editing. Start we're over. This we're cutting this start out. Over. Yeah, so that's we're all gone. On the wall, right? we all so we're sitting on the wall, and my dad comes out and calls Jerry. Jerry begins to stand up, and then dad goes, the priest's here. And then my uncle's like, shit, and then he sits back down. He's like, fuck, ah. Uh, do I need anything when I go to see him? And then my dad goes, Vaseline. 
And that was it. It was a rape joke during a, a wake. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to edit so in you, you guys... fucking up, and I'm going to hard cut to the start of this session. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys, I'm, it, hmm. I just wonder what it's like to be a priest to always have rape jokes made about you. I know, um, right? Uh, yeah. Sounds like a really fun job. Yeah. You feel bad about it, but the little boys help. <laughs> like, yeah. Huh. I think I being so. a... I don't know, I'm just having a different perspective now. That, like, the Catholics themselves are constantly making rape jokes about their own priests. I mean, the priest has to know Yeah, about fucking it. right, we're sick of it. Like, <laughs> sick of being raped. <laughs> sick of being raped I mean, like, the in, the last, in the last, like, year and a bit, we've by popular referendum brought in gay marriage and abortions. Like, people are sick of it. <laughs> it was, that, was, that was just a protest against the rape. Jesus. It definitely helps, though. Like. <laughs> you know, now the priests can get married to their gay lovers and not have to rape little boys. Um, yeah. Although their gay lovers are still the little boys, so I don't know. They're still a not allowed get married. <laughs> oh. Well, when, well, you know, Pope Francis, he can change that, right? He, can just he better. It. It's fucking stupid. He should legalize priests to get gay married, but not uh, heterosexual. <laughs> not heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> like, not the women. Not them. Because I think it's specifically, isn't the justification specifically, Paul, so about having a wife? I mean... You know, you're not having you a wife in a gay marriage. You're, you're good. Anyway, all right, we can start now. All right, the future is here. I don't even remember what happened last time. From what I remember, uh, we ended up uh, around the point I know I had to go through that trial of pain. Uh, David uh, got fucked by a sire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And well, I mean, like, let, why the wording there? Why do you have to say <laughs> "got fucked by"? Because uh, Jean fucked his sire. That's I mean, how you do it. It was like Jean yeah, like... got tempted and then went crazy and did fuck the sire. Well, well you well, never, well, never, you never strictly speaking had sex. You only shared blood. I thought the. It, the inferral was obvious. <laughs> no, because well, Zach, you, right. Zach used weird wording like, uh, "Yeah, you lose control of yourself and like go crazy or something." Yeah, but your sire doesn't have sex with you. She, yeah, she's that's not, weird. That's that would be pretty messed up. So you just uh, no, but because I, I thought what she said was, "Oh no, nothing we do can be sexual," which is code for as long. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah. That's yeah. what a priest <laughs> tells you. <laughs> Just like in okay. it's not, oh, it I doesn't see. count. I see because of your background in Catholicism. Ah, you thought, yeah, the pre, yeah, because you know, the priest always said, Oh, as long as it's with a priest, it doesn't count, so it's fine, right? Well, that's not so. Uh, I understood is that you actually had no uh genitalial touching, no, there was no genitalial contact, uh, so you didn't actually have sex. You just, oh, good. Blood. So, well, that's good. Still, because she thinks it's weird to have sex with you. That was what I took from the. <laughs> all right. Well. <laughs> all right. <laughs> wow. See, John's day is turning off. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, women, women, women think it's weird to have now, sex. No, I wanted to all ask right, something good. actually. So now the Haru is like, oh, don't have any blood from women ever again, which is like, you know, pretty hard thing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there's ever a situation like that again where I have to resist temptation. Does surely the true love merit gives me a boost to the role, right? Um, that's specifically what it does, is it lowers your difficulty. Okay, good. It's pretty good for situation. It's like a, I think like minus two or something. Um, it's pretty good uh, in most cases where it's not someone you have a pinculum rating of 10 for. Yeah, I was going to say, it's <laughs> someone you're not blood bound to. Yeah, fair. All right. Alrighty, so let's get started. All right. So uh, you guys are getting up uh, the next evening. And I believe, I, I remember now, the there was something I had forgotten, but it was that you guys still have that hunter in uh, your torture chamber. And it um, is the third night. That, right, that Joseph is blood -bonding. Yes, indeed. 
because he just likes to collect the ghouls. I have plans for this, uh, hunter. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sexual if it's with a Native American. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. All right. So, uh, well, you've got him blood bonded to you. Well, you fed him blood a third time. Okay. And, uh... So I assume everyone meets up down there. Since you were all interested. There's no way to tell if somebody's blood bond. Right. So if um, he was there blood are with thaumaturgy. Um, blood bound to somebody else. Yeah, it's like, I think you have to use thaumaturgy though. Yeah. Okay. You don't have a way to do it. Okay. Alright, so when by the time everyone uh, meets up down there... Um, He's already uh, basically in the process of explaining to Joseph um, that uh, he does have a hideout, um, but it's protected by a voice print lock. Um, that's why he says that he's going to have to actually take you there personally. There are also obviously some traps and things. Um, which you can help you look out for as well. Would a blood would a blood bond actually make it hard for him to just betray us? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you had the true love merit, and you still did what your blood bond told you to. So, shit. And I don't think there's any way this hunter could be more strong willed <laughs> than Jean Noir. <laughs> Certainly not. I got him wrapped around my finger, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, are we going to go to this hideout and see? I guess. I'm down for it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Sean suddenly <laughs> part of the team. <laughs> Lisa's this just... sounds like something, a mission where he won't have to kill anyone, so he wants to log up some hours now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm looking at these people like, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, the, uh, as you guys sign out for the car, um, he starts telling you where to go. Uh, his base is actually within the, uh, Arabic ghetto of Montreal. It's not really like a ghetto like you would think a medieval ghetto, but it's just sort of a, a more rundown place where immigrants a slum. Yeah. Are stuck I at about those from Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all slums. Years ago. Years <laughs> ago when I lived there. The slums of Haiti. So as you guys uh head into the area um, you see there's a lot of, um, uh, just kind of like small sort of mom and pop-ish stores, uh, stores around, run by the residents, and eventually he directs you towards one of them, which, um, it looks like a cafe of some kind, although the name itself is actually just written in Arabic. So the only one who can understand it is Hassan. Um... Mm -hmm. And it yeah. is uh, named the Full Moon Cafe. Right, well, I will inform them of this. So he tells you the guy inside, um, he knows me. I have a place uh, up above uh, the cafe. When I go in, I have to go in with you, though, and do a special sign. And he does a little thing where he tugs on his ear. Says that'll let him know if I'm coming in with people that everything's okay. If I don't do it, he'll still act like everything's okay, but as soon as we're inside, he's gonna call the police. Okay, so we need to be aware that he's gonna call the police on <laughs> <laughs> Or, so this is a trap. Okay, Lizia's just in her head. This is a trap. Um, yeah. Let me look around. I, I'm thinking you might be right. What what are the ways out of this place? I'm casing the joint here. All right, it looks like there are two ways in and out. 
there is a back door, which you it looks like it's locked. It's like an employee only sort of back door. Okay. Um and you can see there's also a front door obviously where customers come in and out. Okay. And then there's stairs. Can I um did I do aura perception on the guy leading us in, and then on the bar to see how many people there are and stuff? Okay. So it looks like there is a second floor. You're going to have to actually go inside um, in order to see more. Um, and then aura perception. So that's perception plus empathy. And who has a gun? <laughs> Seven with a specialty. Uh, I don't think anyone checked out a gun from the armory. Ah, uh, here. Can we go back? <laughs> oh my god, these people. You may not borrow my knife. Alright, I'm sticking close to Hassan and I'm. Which, uh, which weapon would you like to have taken with you? I'm going to be particularly lenient on David. Uh, I have stats for the Glock 18 machine pistol, so we'll say that one. Okay. In my infinite mercy on poor, pathetic player that David is. <laughs> All right, so you are checking out the auras in there. They look like a couple, but something seems kind of weird. They all seem very vibrant to you. Um, you've never seen auras like this, actually. Well, I have no idea what it means. Um, no, you don't. But it seems very intense, whatever it is. God, they're all mages. Hey, this might just be a... this might just be what Middle Eastern people are like. With violence. <laughs> <laughs> they do have he what? looks over at his Arabic How about you check me. Arabic culture you're, is you're vibrant. Gonna a, <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna just be a vampire. Could I have a role to come to a more logical conclusion than that? <laughs> that Muslims uh, just have vibrant cultural traditions. Uh intelligence plus occult. Intelligence plus occult. Yeah. Wait, really a cult? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's auras. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but in real life, you've never seen a human being's aura. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thinking you were talking it's about the uh, Arabic religion being occult. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> that would be academics. Anyway, Clearly. three. No, oh, three. Um, yes. you have no idea. It mean. I mean, it seems like it means something. Um, but it means something that you have never seen before. Hmm. Okay, so I'll, uh, I guess I'll just tell them that I see multiple auras, and that they are, I'll describe them as you, that they're vibrant, and I'm not sure what that means. Can I make an intelligence plus a cult roll? Alright. What's your intelligence plus a cult? Seven. Well, it's obviously more difficult, because, um, you can't see them. Yeah, you don't really have any idea either. Okay, but I'm totally suspicious. Well, obviously you have a right to be suspicious. <laughs> it it so, does seem significant. You just don't know what it what could it, mean. What actually it means. I don't know what to prepare for, but I'm ready to just... Okay. Can right. I ask the guy what does be going on in there usually? The hunter? Full yeah. Moon Cafe. That's very special. Um, he says that he doesn't... Um, it seems it's just a bunch of regular guys that hang out that he... I'm glaring at Joseph right now. I mean, like, <laughs> are they taking... So, like, my intuition is that it <laughs> the vibrancy sounds like some sort of craziness or inebriation. So, like, are they taking drugs and shit? Um, I do think that they um, occasionally make use of a hookah. Seems like he's okay. trying to be polite. <laughs> he's implying that, yeah, they do. Uh, yeah. It's an opium den, okay. <laughs> and it sounds like, whoa, <laughs> you elevated quick. <laughs> shisha bar. Um, I have. I, go to the shisha bar. I have never known them uh, to drink alcohol. However, should we all go in? Should some stay out here, just so? You know, I love staying out and keeping the car running. Just so you know, we're not all trapped inside. Um, if you want to, there shouldn't be any problems, though. I'll just, I'll throw that out to the group. Well, I'll stand so, guard if you want. I was going to say, Jean probably should, since he can see auras, he can tell. 
<laughs> when all of you guys get terrified. Yeah, when we all become <laughs> terrified and can't move out of a room or something, or are knocked down, or are, you know, whatever. Should we perhaps perform a test first to see how he can tell? Like, if we can rely on that. Well, I mean, I, I you mean, can't, if, you, if you have the power to make yourself feel terrified, by all means. I mean, you could just tell well, how I'm feeling know. at the moment. Well, I don't know that oh, he yeah, needs to tell us blue. how we're feeling, but <laughs> like, but you can see where auras are. I mean, our auras, like, in human... I mean, they're in human shape, yes, right? No, yeah, so if, like, so if human auras come over and attack us, you could <laughs> see that, right? Yes, exactly. You don't need to see what we feel at the time, you can assume from that point on. Yes. But, okay. So I can tell posi the position of things. I will be able to follow where you are. Uh, you know, like, an attack, that could just be, like, any sort of movement, but, I mean, you know, it won't be obvious, but it won't be indiscernible either. Anyway. So, <laughs> what I'm really what just concerned about is when idea, we're all captured and tied and thrown in a corner, you could go get Yamamoto your to help us. Is, You're assuming they're going to try and out. capture you. <laughs> Yeah, so your idea is for me to wait out here, and if something like that happens, I don't know. I what follow you're in do. guns blazing. Sure. <laughs> how many? Uh, how many people are inside the, the place? Um, there are uh four of them. Oh well, shit! I mean, they we they, they really want to attack us. We just kill them. There we go. Woo! Whoa, wait. wait. Starworth, I think you mean if we uh, if they attack us, we'll have uh, you, uh, Madison will kill them, and you guys will willingly take the blame for having done it later. Right. So there's four people in the cafe, fifth from this hunter guy. So we're going to be against five people. It'll be three against five. Okay. I like they, those odds. Right, except that they probably have powers that we're not aware of. I like those odds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But then I come in, and if they're focusing on you, then I'll be flanking them. Yes. Oh, oh I don't like this one. And you do have some firearm. Like, I'll skill. threaten them with my gun, and they'll back off. <laughs> you peacefully. will shoot them, is what you will do. You will just shoot them, and then we'll. Well, well, I mean, they'll they'll see me holding a gun at them, and they'll stop. Whatever. Anyway, all right, let's do this. Let's go be killed. Let's, let's... <laughs> Sean brings a goddamn machine pistol to this fight, and now he's like, oh, I mean, I'll try and arrest them, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the heaviest firepower you can like uh, conceal on your person. All right. All right. All right. Not at all comfortable with this. So you guys are heading inside. Uh, quick question. Yes. If I if I spent a blood point now on celerity, could I save this for a reasonable length of time? Um, I, uh, for the scene, yeah. Alright, perfect, I'll do that. Alright. So you guys head in. And, uh, the hunter goes up to the, uh, barman. The guy behind the counter. And he kind of tugs on his ear. Walks up. And then the cafe owner starts... Talking to him, for the rest of your perspectives, he's just talking to him in Arabic. Um, although, uh, Hassan, you can actually hear what's being said. And the guy says... Do you want us to kill them now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who are you? And then, uh, the hunter replies, I'm the guy... Who's killed and skinned two of you flea bags in the past month? And these so are my vampire lives. friends, and we're here to kick your ass. Sorry, you uh, cut out. I could only hear. Uh, who are you? Um. So then the hunter replied, "I'm the one that skinned your hide and uh, a couple of your friends. Anyway, me and my vampire friends are here to kick your ass." Is what the I'll immediately said say. To this guy. I'll, imme I'll immediately and say in uh, Arabic. That's incorrect. As you Idiot. are saying that, he headbutts the guy uh, oh, on the other no. side, oh, and he geez. breaks and he starts running. He starts like trying to jump the counter, and then uh, as you guys are looking around, you can see obviously everyone's watching this, and the other tenants begin to grow taller. Oh, 
oh, as claws sprout from their fingers. Okay, vibrant aura. We are not with werewolves. him. <laughs> um, I know about werewolves. You. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, Lysia is toward the door it, at all possible. All right. Is so you start running. Hassan starts trying to calm them. Uh, Joseph, what are you doing? Um, what are the chances of me dominating them and <laughs> telling them that we're, uh, we're not with that cat? Probably don't want to dominate them. All four oh. of them? Pretty unlikely. Maybe okay. one of them. Uh, so, okay, so, so, run or explain. <laughs> run and explain. As you're running, <laughs> we're not with him! We're not with him, no. I don't know. Lizia's running. Hassan's explaining. Um, just to be clear, I'm sort of backing up towards the entrance <laughs> <Yeah>. still. <laughs> we're, but we're all running and explaining, is what we're doing. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. also Whoops. going to okay. run and explain. No, you have him. He's, uh, that hunter guy is all yours. Hmm. So if you were to say you were slightly leaning towards one or the other on that scale, which would you say, Stalworth? The running or the explaining? Where's the hunter guy? Oh, um, he got headbutted. He's on the ground. Well, he headbutted another guy. No, he's, he did he's the trying to kill the guy behind the counter. And he has jumped oh. over the counter. Well, I kind of feel like he's going after him. You should take yeah. care of him, Joseph. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go after him. <laughs> All right. This is a great start. No, I'm just trying to get out of here. Uh, by the way, uh, David, you do notice all the auras become oh, terrified oh, after I they don't go want in. To just oh, my kick the door in. Kick the door in. You're all under arrest. <laughs> you yeah. definitely notice something is going on, although you don't know what. Yeah. Can I discern Lizia running for the door? Yes. In that case, I'm hardly going in there. <laughs> <laughs> I will wait for Lizia to come out and explain to me the situation. Are you... Where are you sitting right now? Well, you were right, able so to get I mean, the car. Like, so uh, huh. I guess I had it in mind that I was right outside the door. Okay. So I guess I would at least open the door and either yeah, like assess the situation whether I should be coming in to help or just opening, the, leaving the door open for Lizia to get out faster. Okay. Because you so were I, able I to get... I will at least open the door with my gun held and celerity charge. Because you were able to get the car parked kind of directly in front of it. I don't know if you would have been staying there instead on account of it being a little bit less suspicious than just sitting just outside. outside oh, okay, car. well, yeah, so yeah. I... Alright, that's different. If the car is actually right next to the door, then I guess I was in the car. Alright. So, let's see. So I'm in a car now. Lizzy is coming out, so I would start the engine. And okay. open the door for her. Okay. <laughs> well, to your immense relief, you hear the car starting. <laughs> yes. Oh, Sean did something right. <laughs> All right. So, from you, I'm going to need a strength plus athletics. Um, I'm going to... Can I buff a point? Yep. Uh, so that'll be uh, three now. Okay. All right. So, um, then for Joseph, strength plus athletics. Let me see. That will be, uh, six and then two potents. Okay. All right. Um, so then we will come to Hassan. What is your uh, charisma plus empathy? Are you really gonna make me use those? <laughs> yeah, I am. This is best Arabic. <sighs> you do. You are speaking their native language, so you do get a slight bonus. Yeah, that's not gonna help my one roll a lot, is it? <laughs> 
Uh. Build PowerPoint. No, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So many things happen at once. Lysia spins around and books it out the door. You basically body check your way through this door, <laughs> crashing it open. Um, and you're able to basically jump inside the car. Hassan's got it ready for you. Or Jean does. No, I've got it. All right. I'm uh, multitasking. You're multitasking? All right. Joseph. <laughs> um, you're, you're an amazing man, Hassan. That's all you <laughs> hop the bar, and you see that the hunter does not stop after headbutting this guy. He goes straight back, and it looks like he's running directly towards the back exit of this place. Um, and you are basically just chugging after him as fast as you can. Hassan, um... You're you're now all of a sudden, with... your friends have abandoned you <laughs> as you're backing towards the door with your hands up. And um, the figure uh, that was behind the counter uh, emerges, and you can see he is also in the process of transforming into uh, werewolf form. He points at you um, and basically growls something. This isn't in Arabic. Um, it's just growly language you can't understand. Um, but it's pretty clear to you that the implication is that you're being ordered to maybe be captured, but probably killed. Um, and everyone else in the cafe starts advancing towards you. They start okay, trying I'll... to circle around okay. you. Oh, I'm screaming can I, for can I, can I book it? I'm screaming <laughs> yes. for Hassan to come, to get in here. Uh, yes, you can. But oh, no. you has, also... Has Jean watched Joseph leave through the back exit? Um, give me another perception plus empathy. You were kind of distracted starting the car at the time. Seven. I mean, he's not the... Or at least can he perceive that Joseph's aura is not necessarily in the cafe? Um, in the chaos, you've lost track of your aura perception. It's... Okay. You're a little bit focused on getting the car running and getting the fuck out of there. All right, so then I'm turning to Lizzie. Is like, where's the other two? I'm screaming through the doorway <laughs> for Hassan to get his ass out of there, and Joseph, because I don't know if he's gone or whatever. But, All right, you know, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, is anybody coming through the door? All right, so Yuri's screaming. Uh, John, um, one person has gotten in. You're basically standing behind the wheel right now. The door is like. Lisa has I'm, it open I'm for everyone. The door open uh, what do you want to actually do? You probably fucking abandoned me. <laughs> I will. I'm, I've got the car <laughs> or whatever, but I will wait. All right. Okay. Sweating with his white knuckles on the thing. So, is anybody coming out of that <laughs> I'm door? I'm revving the car. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting it to a rolling start? Is Maybe. it a stick shift or is it an automatic? It's an automatic. Okay, well then it's fine. He's got his foot on the brake for now, because otherwise it's gonna we're gonna take it. Yeah, off. yeah. Alright. So Um Joseph, first off, give me a uh dexterity plus athletics. That would also be six. Joseph's gonna have a fun time when he gets just the werewolf and the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can give them the hunter, and then hopefully exchange for your own life. Yeah, werewolves are known to be cooperative with vampires. Um, so you start ducking around like all of the crap in this kitchen. You start getting around the shelving, around the oven. There's food in the middle of preparation. You're ducking around it. Um, and you are still after this hunter who is a little ways ahead of you. Uh, Hassan, give me a strength... Well, you're already kind of surrounded at this point. Give me a dexterity plus dodge if you want to get past them and out of this place. That would be eight. All right. All right, so... You, uh, duck away... Uh, you duck away from the uh, werewolves uh, and burst through the door and basically get into the car. Okay. Nice. 
Um, you can Joseph. see that three of them of the werewolves are pursuing you out the door. Okay. Uh, I'm slamming it. Just on own. Go, Jean, go. So I, uh, <laughs> go, so, Jean, go. Um, Hassan is in the car and I'm seeing werewolves. Yes. I'm driving away. Okay. All right, Hassan, what happened to Joseph? I will. He's still there. All right. Okay, John, wow. give me a dexterity plus a drive. Can I obfuscate and get out of the car to go get him? Or would the um... um the car door opening would give you away? Fuck. What if he well, opened the after, car? After we, go, after we round the corner. Yeah, you could do that. If they're if not there away. with you, I was gonna say, you guys seem to have assumed quickly that yeah, you've gotten I was away. Say, um, <laughs> these guys are werewolves, and I'm going to assume in Krino's form they are chasing after us. Yeah. Okay. Lizzie so, knows a little something about werewolves. All right. So we got to get away from these guys. Then we will go back and get Joseph if there's anything left of him. Dexterity <laughs> plus drive is five. All right. So where would you like to start heading towards? Well, I guess that depends on where we are right now. Um, let's see. We don't want to go straight to the Haven. We don't no. want werewolves knowing where our Haven is. No. So, I mean, just, like, the other side of town, like, just away from them without a specific location in mind. Yeah, I'd say we just try and... You can them. just go away. Just, I was just wondering just if you wanted answer. something specific, like you wanted somewhere, like, uh, kind of abandoned to ambush them. No. Uh, if you uh, want some place populated, so if you um, wanted some place, we're not going to go. go. Yeah, I think the wiser thing would be to head into town. So, because like obviously they're werewolves, they're not going to be, they're not going to want to be seen as Hopefully. werewolves. So go go into an urban area with people. That might be a good idea. They don't like urban areas. It's the worm and all of that. Yeah, exactly. That's the plot. And then we need to figure out how to get Joseph. All right. <laughs> or what's left of him. Or what's left of him, if there's anything left. So uh, they start running alongside this car as you are basically slamming on the gas, trying to get out of here. Um, and they start, like, trying... They start running alongside the car, smashing at it. Um, and then you hear one of the back windows break as one of them has smashed it open and is trying to crawl inside okay, of the van. Okay, can I grab him and vicissitude? All right, give me a dexterity plus brawl. Um, um, that is four. All right, and give me a strength plus body crafts. Is my strength still buffed? Yes. Okay, so that is six. And what are you doing? Just like basically taking am, the arm like yeah, off? Yeah, I am. He, so he is unable to run and whatever. He is just disjointed and all right. whatever. Well, all you're able to really get a hold of is one of his arms, but you basically just yank it off of him and okay. he starts screeching uh, okay. like a banshee. All right. Um, but he does basically fall off and you see him basically roll on the side of the road. Uh, Jean, give me another dexterity plus drive. Five. I'm going I'm to fling the arm out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to keep it? No, I don't really. Rar. <laughs> rar, rar. Later on. Just... Okay, maybe I do. Maybe I do keep it. I'll just stick it there. All right. So, uh, you start pulling away from these guys, and you hear, like, the most awful, like, metal scratching sound as they dig their claws into the side of the van as you are pulling forward away from them. But you do manage to get away. Okay. You have busted up the, the van, Dodge Yamamoto Caravan. Yamamoto is going to be pissed. It's now a Dodge Caravan with claw marks and a busted window. And we've lost a member of our of our. Pack. They're merely speed stripes. <clears throat> now that you have a chance to think about it, you've also lost your prisoner, and mm -hmm. he also knows where we're at. The location um, of the Haven. So we... Okay. So. Okay. So. We lose these guys... 
thoroughly. Like and then go right, right back. <laughs> right? The closer we are to danger, the farther we are from harm. Okay, so we need to pull over and we need to assess. Great idea, Pippin. How... <laughs> How badly Joseph has fucked us over again. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, where is Joseph? That's true. Joseph, give me his stamina plus athletics. <laughs> well, that is a uh, three. And uh, you know what? I'll use a little PowerPoint. <laughs> ah, we have found the physical stat. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> Min Max. <laughs> <laughs> literally Alrighty. just got you five know. strength <laughs> and five and dexterity. Uh -huh. He's all off. How much stamina? Yeah, he's got <laughs> two. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's average. Yeah, no, he, you know, he peters out pretty. Quickly. <laughs> he's, he's like all off. He is the definition of someone who skips leg day. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> the top half of his body is huge, but... <laughs> so puny legs. <laughs> right. well, he's got average legs. He's got average legs. Which are puny relative to the rest of the body. That's yeah. true. In comparison. All right. So. All right. So you start running after this guy. Um, and I am also going to need uh, some wits plus alertness in order to keep track of where he is ahead of you. Uh, that's two. <laughs> Joseph, you are getting yourself into some trouble. Another willpower point, or? Sure. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. All right. You're staying right on his ass. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the werewolf is doing much of the same to you as well. Um, fortunately, you're not really in a big, good straightaway where he can make use of his uh, incredible speed. And you're not too slow yourself with your potents. Um, but you can see the hunter ducks into another building. Um, and then you start following up some stairwells. Until eventually you can see um, a long corridor ahead of you. And then to the side, um, one of the doors is open. And there is still a werewolf somewhere below you. In the building. You've lost, lost. Uh, sight of him, though. Alright, well, I'll keep following after the hunter. Okay. So, give me a dexterity plus dodge. That would be seven. Alright. So as you uh, basically run into this room, you feel a tripwire on your leg go. And you are barely able to basically Neo-style, uh, like, flip back as this huge uh, scythe, which has been kept under tension, slams outwards and tries to basically cut you in half at around the chest. Uh... uh as nice. you are falling backwards, you kind of collide backwards into the wall behind you, and then to your side, you can see that the werewolf has just come up onto this level. All right, so do I have any clue where uh, the hunter is? Uh, you can hear sounds from inside of the room, so you presume he's in there. All right, well, I'm still going to go after the hunter, because if anything, you know, he needs to die now, because he knows where, <laughs> where the hideout is. He's since I can't him. follow through on my plans for him anymore, since he's a betrayer, it's just, you got to die. And just to be clear for the audience, what were said plans? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... <clears throat> I was, uh, I was trying to decide because, you know, my humanity is already low. And my conscience is pretty low, too. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to do anything too evil. So... <laughs> no, I don't know. That sounds like metagaming. <laughs> <laughs> like, time was, to just was, accept a path. <laughs> like, since I don't have any resources, I was going to um, have uh, 
Lesia turn him into a uh, into a female and pretty much uh, pimp him out. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking nice! Wow! I, I don't think I got that quite right, but oh. these Madison is going to turn him into a female and pimp him out, and he will take the blame for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pretty much do something to involve wow. him giving me some money. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, fucking I, nice. This is my first time hearing of this plan, and, uh... Oh, it's flawless. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can't... Can plan B was to turn Jean into a woman... <laughs> And then pick them out. So that's what we're going to instead. Uh-huh. But, uh, hey, I'll never do that to John. Alrighty. Well, Fine. that, um, <laughs> Lizia had no idea that this was the plan, and, and hopefully she never finds out. But anyway, <laughs> she might have been down with that. No, she would have been fine with it. She would have done it, but, you know. She might have suggested you learn about something like the Path of Cathari, yeah, yeah, which she has been say, studying. You know, I, I would suggest a, a path for you, my friend. <laughs> um, the humanity anyway. thing just might not be for me. All right. So, all right. So he's going after the all right. hunter. That's the... So you duck inside this place, and then you can see... Um, uh, that it, it seems to be set up like a hideout. And as you head towards the sound of the, uh, in the apartment, I'm gonna need you to give me another dexterity plus dodge <laughs> roll. Alright, that, that'll be, uh, seven. I have no idea how we're gonna find you. Well, uh, it might not be hard to find him. I don't know how you're going to find his living body. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't alive. know how we're going to find the pieces of you. All right. You actually can... managed to dodge again. You are kicking ass on these dodge rolls. So you basically come around the corner, and then you, when you see the shotgun, you dive to the floor, <laughs> and the, uh, the incendiary ammo goes directly over you. But this guy does definitely have a shotgun. With incendiary rounds loaded into it. He only fired one barrel. Um, and as you are basically uh, colliding with the ground, I'm going to also need a courage roll from you. That is three. All right. Uh, and you do not go into frenzy, although you do see that on the other side of the open doorway is also the werewolf. So you're basically trapped inside of a hideout. Um, there is one room kind of further in that looks like a bedroom of some kind where the hunter is with his uh, incendiary shotgun. And then at the front door, you've got a werewolf. Well, this is this is amazing, to be honest. Why the hell did I follow after this dude? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I kept asking no what you do, and you kept no saying witnesses. you follow after him. It turns out he won't be a witness. <laughs> like, I figured he had a hideout. I just didn't know, like, it would. I thought he, like, led us somewhere, and, you know, I didn't think this was actually his hideout. Hmm. I mean, shit. You found it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know where he, now you know where his hideout is, and it's booby trapped. Yeah. No voice print though. Hmm, that was that was that a was lie. A, that was a misleading. Um... All right. Well, yeah. <clears throat> probably should have realized that voice thing was a lie when we saw the statue of the neighborhood he was in. That shit really stand out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So his actual hideout happened to be within running distance of the werewolves. Uh, yeah, actually. It's specifically, you guys are not really gonna figure this one out, but basically it was a lookout post that he was keeping an eye on these werewolves from this location. He knew about it and brought so, you guys so around. This is yeah. sort of a second well, we certainly episode. gathered that this guy was a werewolf hunter anyway. <laughs> it's the, well, he's a hunter of he's werewolves He's a hunter of and werewolves. Vampires and he actually whatever. specifically told you that he was oh. a hunter of werewolves. Oh. So, so, like, what is up with this dude that he can't be, well... Is he blood bonded to someone else? Like, what is with this dude? Or he can't be blood bonded, or there's something. I don't know. He's not blood bonded to you. I can tell you that. Yeah, definitely. Even your two intelligence figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I don't want to intelligence. <laughs> hmm. What to do, what to do. Well, should we go back to us and maybe we can come up with, I don't know, how um, we're going to figure out. At the amount of time that you guys are getting lost, he's going to basically have to deal with most of this on his own. Okay. At least in this particular situation. All right. All right. Well, then I'm going to go get some food and drink. All right. <laughs> no, you're on your own here. Sorry. She Bye. doesn't want to have to witness this. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you're going to die. You're going to die, Joe. Hopefully not. Uh... <laughs> he's still positive. I love that. You're so optimistic. <laughs> So, so, Hunter has a shotgun. Is he is he in like a room that's pretty much closed off? Like he can't get out of the room. Yeah. So, um, basically, um, this looks like it's an apartment building. You're in the main area. Um, there's not really a lot of like living room sort of stuff. There's basically like a big telescope that he was using to watch something out the window. There is, like, a refrigerator and some other things like that. And then inside of the doorway, it's, uh, you saw, like, a futon sort of style bed. Um, you didn't see any, you didn't really get a good look at that, but you didn't see any exit doors. And usually there's not a exit door leading out of a bedroom in an apartment. Except maybe into a bathroom, but that's, you know, still, there's okay. still nowhere to go from there. So he's effectively trapped. Does the werewolf see me? Oh, yeah, he sees you. Fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to lead this to, like, have the hunter and the werewolf attack each other. And Point to the hunter and go, he's over there, and hope for the best. And just pray that the werewolf doesn't decapitate me on the way to killing the hunter. Well, you actually, the from the direction you dived, you were heading forward from the door, and you dived forward when you saw the shotgun, so the open doorway with the guy with the gun is between you and the werewolf right now. So. Okay. So basically, if I want to lead the werewolf to attack him, that would be a possibility. Um, you don't have a ton of room. You are kind of huddled up in the back corner of this place against kind of the far wall from the doorway. But yeah, you could... He could go in after the the hunter before coming after you. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll point towards the, uh... I'll put on my best charming voice or convincing voice and tell him that the, uh... The guy that killed his comrades, because he said something about skinning them, okay. is okay. in there. Would you call it your best dominating voice? I would. Alright. So give me a manipulation plus leadership. That'll be six. Boy, you, you better hope this one works. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spend the world PowerPoint. Might also want to say a prayer. Alright. You try as hard as you can to basically bore this comment into his mind. Go in there. Uh, and the werewolf <laughs> still doesn't seem well inclined towards you, but in the moment, he does head into the uh, bedroom first, and you hear a gunshot as it's hit full in the chest with uh, another incendiary round, but it just keeps going inside. Fuck yeah. What are you nah, planning on? Away now. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm thinking about it, but I feel like he's going to catch me if I just run away. Well, he's I was... fighting off a guy with a shotgun. Now is your only chance. You have an exact... It's not like mind control where you just, like, have control of this guy now. It's not charm person, necessarily. You dominated him into going after the hunter first because that isn't necessarily what he wouldn't do anyway. But as soon as that's over, <laughs> it's your ass. Run, Star Wars. You just run. Damn. So, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'll, I'll run. I'll run away. Hey, I'll try to run away sneakily though. All right. You know, right. quickly, but so that he don't notice that I'm running away. Are you going to? It's uh, like running away, except he doesn't like release panic screams. Are you going to be you going using to be? uh obtenebration to cover that escape? Okay. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Uh, yeah. If it, it'll if it'll help me get away, yeah. All right. 
So you try and pull the shadows around yourself. Give me, first off, a manipulation plus a cult and spend a blood point. I'm sorry, what? Say that again. Manipulation Mani plus a cult. Oh, okay. Alright, that'll be, uh, I'll be six. <laughs> All right. And now give me a dexterity plus stealth. That'll be five. All right. So you, uh, basically try and cloak yourself in shadows as you, uh, base once you get out of this building. You sneak out of the building, all right, well, there are still gunshots and sounds of fighting. Out on the alley, cloak yourself in darkness, and start stalking around trying to evade this werewolf. And I'm going to need a perception plus uh, alertness from the people in the car. For me, that's six. All right. Four for me. Also, so I've got all specs on. Hey, all in all, I think I handled the situation very well. All right, as you guys are driving, you do spot coming out of an alley around the area. You do see Joseph, um, <laughs> looking terrified. Okay. Shell shot. Open the door. To, open the door. Tell them to get the fuck in. All right, so Joseph, you see the caravan roll up. It looks like there are big claw marks along the side of it, and one of the windows is busted out. Uh, Lizia is holding a werewolf arm. Throws open the side door and is motioning for you to come in. I hop in swiftly. All right. So, John, what would you like to do now? Let's just go home. <laughs> Let's make sure um, we are being followed. Let's take a long way home. So we'll drive off and while asking... You know him. What the situation is? Is the hunter dead? And what? What not? Um, I didn't see the hunter die, but I saw a werewolf go in to uh, attack the hunter. So I'm pretty sure he's probably dead. Probably is not good enough. No, it's not because he knows where our haven is. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> we will have to investigate, unfortunately. What's the plan then? Investigate now or later? Well, will the situation get better later? We're Probably now. not. Yeah. Actually, if you, the other thing you may want to keep in mind is that uh, if he does break under torture to uh, tell you, you know, that information could spread right, out. I was going to say, he could tell the werewolves where we are. I'm not, I'm not particularly worried about him uh, breaking the torture, considering he didn't break to me when I ripped his eyeball right, out. Right, but he would give this information up willingly. <laughs> no, he absolutely would. He would not break um, on the torture. He'd just give it for free. Ah, uh, I see. So we didn't transport him, like, to and from our haven with, with, like, a bag on his head or nothing? We just... Nope, we didn't. You kind of assumed you were going to kill well, him smart. afterwards. Because you thought he was bloodbound, so... Actually, you yeah, you assumed you would be pimping him. <laughs> Okay, lesson we are learned fucking brilliant, wow. Okay, lesson learned for us. <laughs> Never assume you're gonna kill him, kill him first. It's a learning experience. Because if we have to, oh, oh my god, and we don't know if he, like, oh my god. Yeah, we need to make sure that, because if we, we do not want to go back and tell Yamamoto that possibly werewolves know where our haven is. Okay? We just don't want that to happen. Yeah, so we're going to have to go, go investigate. Now. Remind me, do uh, werewolves, can they see through obfuscate? Um, no. Yeah, you have no idea. You've never really directly fought a werewolf before. Right, I'll ask in character Lucia if she knows. What do I know about werewolves other than that? You don't they, fuck with them. You, just, you, don't, you fuck don't fuck them. with them. They do have powers. Maybe not. I mean, not every vampire can see you, so maybe not every werewolf. Maybe no werewolf. You don't know. You have All no I idea. know is you don't fuck with them. And you guys fuck oh, well, with them. Well, that ship has sailed. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So I would assume, you know, I mean, we try it, but like be on guard. Because they may be able to see you. Just know that. We will have to try. All right. So, so, is the plan to send in Hassan obfuscated? He's our best bet. Be safe, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So, he gets a little salute, a little two fingers salute. Be safe, man. Go, go clean up my mess. <laughs> no one he leaves, be like, yeah, he's false. And we're just like, oh, okay. And my winky little reading with Joseph just went down. How and odd. And John is yeah. like. I, at least I'm not the one who fucked up this time. <laughs> <laughs> that's in in person. That's literally what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I saved everyone. I had the car ready, and yet weirdly, we all still like Joseph better than you. <laughs> I, I mean, no. no, hold on a second. That's not true. Surely you like more than just like Saint Costine. Actually, actually, no. Lizia does. It, your V rating that's with true. Lizia is really low. I don't Whereas know. Maybe everybody else is higher. Okay, no. In terms of Vinculum, yeah, but personality or like. Oh you know, yeah, obviously. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, I had you're... I had a fortune telling dream, and <laughs> he was the bad guy. That dream. There's two reasons that for you to true. like me more. True. Allegedly. That is, <laughs> true. that is true. Lysia does have suspicions of of infernalism, but Yamamoto who, again, she likes very, very much told her that there was no infernalism within the group. And although, yeah, you know, she's torn. This is where she's conflicted between her hatred for infernalism and people telling her it's all fine. All or right. her hatred for Jean. So, Hassan, you sneak out of the car, obfuscated. You creep around this place using Joseph's directions, and you manage to get inside of the building. Inside, you find... Actually, hold on, hold on. Before all that, I would like to make a test of my advocate, see if they can see through it. All right. Well, they're all basically... You don't run into any werewolves yet. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> you're not gonna run into them until you're. Synchrous room, then. <laughs> Although you can't hear voices from inside of the hideout. Kind of growly voices, though. Um, and as oh boy. you sneak inside, you can see that there are uh, all four of them, and they're all sitting inside of the main room of this place, talking to one another. You can't see any trace of the hunter. Although you can see a small trickle of blood coming out from the, what looks like the main bedroom. Question. Yes. Does obfuscate uh, cover smells? Um, it is basically it makes it hard for anyone to just perceive you. Um, it doesn't really turn you invisible or anything. Vampires don't necessarily have a scent because we um, don't have glands. Anywhere. That's true. Okay. All right. Although All you do have the mystical scent of the worm on you, mm -hmm. but we'll see. And we have clothes. So. Just gonna cover it up with some axe body spray real quick. <laughs> no, that's, uh, well, we uh, gotta get in there somehow. Can I sneak around in there, or um, is this the only uh, way in? There is only, pretty much only one way in that you can see. Um, Yeah. Well, time to be really fucking sneaky then. And these guys are all kind of positioned in such a way that they're kind of in different corners of the room, all kind of talking to each other, directing their conversation kind of towards the center. So and you're going to have to walk through the middle. Language, not so we're going to walk yeah, straight through the middle after. Growling at each other. Okay, so yep, go in there and just, just be bold and sneaky and don't make noise. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to. I can't even use the quiet as can I still cover the room. Yeah, they're talking with each other, so... Oh boy, yeah, well, in we go. Alright. How would you describe your manner of walking? Confident, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Marching. <laughs> Alright. No, I'm fucking sneaking, dude, what do you think? When he's doing toe, heel. <laughs> You're doing the very toe, good thing. Toe, heel. Oh, I see. Toe, heel. You very, very quiet. So you walk creep past these guys, and no one gives a sign of noticing you. 
Okay, that's good. All right. Um, then they all attack. You creep around to the side of the place and you look inside of the bedroom. And you can see that it is basically coated with gore. They just opened the guy up. He is in pieces around this place. Excellent. Definitely deceased. Okay. But did he tell them anything before he Yeah, what are, what are they talking about? What can I hear that they're saying? They're talking in still, some sort still of werewolf. Growling? They're talking in a werewolf language. You can't understand it. Okay, well, let's head out then. All right. So you creep on the way out, and then you hear one of them growl at sort of a fever pitch. I'm going to need a courage roll. That's four. All right. You hold very still. And then the conversation returns back to a normal level. And you're able to keep going. Out I go. All right, you're outside. Able to reunite with the party, no problem. I will do so. The uh, hunter has most definitely been dealt with. Okay. But did he say anything before he died? I do not know. I doubt it. <laughs> okay, Joseph, you Your know what? Your doubt Lisa, is not enough. <laughs> Lizia just looks at you and tells you to shut up. <laughs> That's probably fine. <laughs> she is not happy with you. You are quite optimistic, but that is not what we need at the moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. We should bring in some solutions just in case. <laughs> okay. Really now. So maybe we need to keep an eye on these guys. That may be for the best. But how are we going to do that? Maybe we should avoid any further contact with them. Maybe we should call the police on them to force them back into human I form mean, so, so I can understand so them hear again. me out, right? Mm-hmm. If they already got the information out of him, then there's not much we can do to change that. You know, it's like yeah, by spying on them, we're best off just preparing defenses at home. Whereas if they didn't get that information and we start trying to spy on them and get caught, well, then now they do have something to do with us again. We've everything to lose and very little to gain. So I say we just forget these guys. So you're saying we go back to the Haven. We tell Yamamoto it is and, possible yeah. that a witness well, pack knows where our haven is. No. We should prepare defenses. No, 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 no. <laughs> we confirm that the guy is dead and they do not know. How do we confirm that? Well, I mean, you said he was ripped to shreds, right, Hassan? He has been dealt with, yes. He is okay, most certainly so dead. Okay, so we have a very specific time frame. We can assume that the moment of death was at least a few minutes before Hassan showed up, since when Hassan showed up, the job was very thoroughly finished. So, the guy, we couldn't get anything... Oh, wait, no, you already explained how we wouldn't have to torture him to get that information. Yeah, well, we'll only give that information. Still, though, I don't know, let's roleplay it. Like, he's fighting, he's fighting for his life. <laughs> Let's roleplay it, he says in character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very confusing. That's right, I did. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright. So, so like, you know, uh, what's his face? Castine, right? So what you were saying was that <laughs> you saw the werewolf try to get into the room, he got hit by a shotgun, and kept going into the room. Yes. Chances are... That werewolf wasn't interested in reasoning with that guy anymore, and he probably just killed him quickly. I uh, I, can't, I can't guarantee that, but I can I can, yeah probably. Wait, hold on, it just is one the second. Out of character. Likely single outcome. Was the room he was shot in and fought in also the same room that I saw him in? Yes, it's that same. Room. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Yeah. So there right. you go. So what you're saying what? is. We should assume probably didn't reveal the location of our haven. We go back secretly, 
mount defenses against a possible werewolf attack, but we say nothing to Yamamoto. I think that's liable to get caught, and there's probably not much defenses we can do, but I mean, we all no, know where the silver Lizia, bullets are. because Lysia, we can do... Uh, I, I know a way to... to okay, do. here's what we do, right? So, we start preparing for were werewolves, but our act is that, you know, now that we've had first-hand experience, we're just scared say, of them in I've general. had experience with them in Haiti. I, I know what they are, and, and here I have... I know that they are here in Montreal. I will suggest that we uh, have defenses against werewolves in our haven. Yeah. All right, and it's not because they know where we are. Not because See, they know where we are. Because we know See, where I would are. suggest that we actually call the police on them, just put some kind of anonymous thing that well, the police can suggest. As we're leaving, actually, we need yeah, to get yeah. out of here. <laughs> call Homeland Security. We can, do it with we your can... burner phone now, who cares? Well, before we get to the Haven, that way it's untraceable, we'll dump that phone. Before yeah. we get back home, um, yeah, right now. Well, I figured, I figured the, idea would be, the idea would be to make them turn back into human form, so I could understand them. But they're gonna leave. Are you gonna follow oh, them? Call the police on wherever? them now, this is really incriminating a position they're in right now. Call the police on them now. Okay, so we so dial them now. Alright. That was with a dead right. body. They're just gonna jet. You know that. They've got Solaris. Yeah, but, you know, maybe they'll get caught. Let's try it. I mean, we can try it, but they're just going to scatter and jet and whatever. whatever. Uh, well, they, those hopefully they know what we look like. Uh, I was going to say, Hassan might, since they didn't yeah. notice you in Obfuscate, you could uh, possibly go back to the Full Moon Cafe and in Obfuscate, uh, you know, and and just occasionally because uh, I, I they're just they're just gonna run away we're not gonna be able to follow all four of them <laughs> and they're not gonna nah. talk, start they're not just gonna suddenly turn back into human form wait for the police to come go oh yeah no the blood in the other room that's fine and then like discuss their plans of attacking our haven that's not gonna happen mm -hmm. so just so you just like keep taps on them then uh, you know, we might. We might keep tabs on them there at the Full Moon yeah. Cafe, see if anything... Sure. I mean, we know where they hang out. Okay. Well, we, we could spin this positively. We found out some new information, and now we're going to keep tabs on it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good thing. And we should also probably, you know, uh, have more defenses against werewolves, because we I've had bad experience in Haiti. We could also of still call the cops on that house that they're in right now. Yes, no, I think we should do that. Them. But just know we're All not right, going to get any now. more information from that this All right. night, is what I'm saying. So, to be clear, you guys are going back to the Haven. Mm -hmm. Before you do that, though, you're going to stop off, make a call to the police, tell them about the location of the hunter's hideout. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you do that. You leave your anonymous tip. Um... And you head back to the Haven. Once you're back in, um, first off, you do have to fill out the damage form for the van, which is next yeah, to the sign-up form. Yeah, we're going to have to explain that to Yamamoto. I mean, there are werewolf claws in the van, so we did come across them. <laughs> we handled the situation. There's no danger to us. But we did find out where their haven was, or where their little hangout was. And we might keep some tabs on them. We should make defenses. There are claw marks and a busted window in the middle. Do you want, yeah, how, do you want to just approach him yourselves? We should probably go and fess up to that part. Let's not mention they might know where we live. But we'll say, hey, we had a run-in. While we were out hunting, we accidentally Well, he knows that you have a hunter oh, that you were torturing as was, well. Okay. Hmm. He knows okay. that he's not okay. there Okay, on the way back, as we are driving back... <laughs> We got to get our story straight. I'm looking at all three of you. I am looking at all three of you. We got to get our story straight. I'm looking at Jean and I'm looking at Joe. The most. Well, the most. Okay. Well, well this, this is all I'm not too worried about. Oh, all you got to tell him is, uh, you know, we were transporting um, the hunter to uh, to his hideout. And on the way there, the... Uh, the hunter, uh, he uh, noticed some werewolves. You know, since most of us don't have any, uh, don't have any uh, experience with werewolves, we uh, we didn't really uh, notice. But 
he says something to them and provoke them and they start to attack us and we killed yeah, the hunter so and we had to escape from the werewolves. Yeah, no, so we just have to tell them the uh, the absolute truth up until the part where we're not sure if they talked with him before they murdered him. Yeah, 97% truth, 3% lie. Okay, not so 3% okay. lie, 3% concealed information. Yeah, we didn't that, that that actually lie. So, because we probably couldn't do that to somebody we're bloodbound to. Um, <laughs> so, I'm so, looking at John. I'm looking at John. Yeah, oh, sorry. So <laughs> I'm John's I'm looking, twice. I'm I, looking I at John, and I'm going to say that aura yeah. you saw, the aura you saw that was intense and whatever, that means werewolf. From now on, yeah, I've, you I've know got that. It. Okay. I've got it. Now, <laughs> I have a, so I have a proposal for the one fabrication we have to make. Go ahead. It's it's very simple. Joseph just says that he sees the werewolf claw hit the guy when he after getting shot by the shotgun. And we don't mention Hassan going in to confirm his death. Or okay. maybe we do anyway. Here's the thing. Lysia can't fabricate. She's not. Uh, I will refuse to fabricate. I will. I will stay quiet and not say anything. But I'm not going to be able to lie directly to Yamamoto. Now, okay. Oh, okay. If you're now. Hold on. If you're asked to confirm, though, you're going to give us away, then, aren't you? Just don't lie. I'm conceal saying, information. I'm going to conceal information. I'm not going to say anything, but I cannot directly lie to Yamamoto. Yeah, okay, but here's the thing. All Yamamoto has to do then is say, is this true, Lizia? And then you so can't say no. You, the point or is you that you yes. guys need to keep him from doing that. The only sure way, your surefire way of doing that is you not coming with us. Is that I'm not there with you when you guys make this report without and me. And that's weird. I can go... And even go... then, he could just ask her <laughs> later. He could just ask yeah. me later. I may... Alright, never mind. May... It's fucked. It's I'm... fucked. We have to tell him the truth. I may have no. some priestly business that I need to attend to, which is why I don't come with you. Well, we could, uh, we could have some story and then just, um... No, if we... See, I would say that Joseph should be the one to make this. Uh, explain. Maybe one yeah. one person should just make the report, and several of us not be there. Yeah. Okay, Since but he can ask you later at any stage. He could. He can yeah, ask yeah. you later at any stage. He could, but it's less yeah, but obvious I'm that I'm the one lying. that can't lie. I'm capable of lying. I will refuse to lie to him. All right. So half of us can't lie. Maybe yeah. So half of us can't lie to Yamamoto. Maybe we should just tell which the means, truth. Which means the rest of you can't lie either. <laughs> so, we can... Oh my goodness, this is, this is quite <laughs> We've spent difficult. like five, ten minutes just trying to decide what we're going to tell the bishop. Yep. Cause, Look, cause the werewolves are one thing, but Yamamoto fucking terrifies me. <laughs> you know. You know. Do we just fess up? Okay, alright. All right. Right. Do we just I'm fess up and take our punishment? Yeah. yeah. Let's just Hold on. This is Joseph's punishment. Whoa! It was his ghoul. <laughs> it was his ghoul. You did fuck I off. I will look at his. <laughs> oh my his god! Was... Everyone looks at Joseph. Sean pulls the car over <laughs> and also turns around. <laughs> so, yes, I agree, Hassan. This may be Joseph's fault. Whoa! <laughs> we all agreed to this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but things turned out badly. Yes, but the rest, the rest of us agreed. And screen, play now needs to be settled, and and it is possible. Wow! Well, that, um... <laughs> we just all do not, do not worry, my friend. You may get lucky and get off with a test of pain. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh... have a group test the pain. It'll... It'll be a bonding experience. It will be. It will be. It'll be a group test of pain in the sense that they're beating you. <laughs> so, I, yes, I, I believe our only out here is to just come clean completely and say that the chances are minimal, but there is a possibility. All right. That werewolves know where we are. I, I think that's the best way. Okay. 
So, you guys arrive. Oh, wait, we do. Do I have consensus from the group? I agree. <laughs> All right. You guys arrive. That's, back that's at the group. The Haven. <laughs> We're like nine tenths of the group, you and I, Miles. <laughs> They're like one tenth. We overrule them. <laughs> All right. You start heading very nervously. <laughs> All of you start heading into Yamamoto's office. Someone knocks on the door. Opens up and you guys are allowed in. Now who will tell him? I understand. And it seems as though you have a report to make. Yes, sir. If Hassan does not step forward, I will. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> so, um... Joseph was attempting to blood bond the hunter prisoner that we had. We uh, assumed that that had been the case. He led us to what we thought was his hideout. It turned out it was the, uh, the hangout of werewolves. We obviously escaped unharmed the prisoner was destroyed. There is a very, very small possibility that the werewolves know about us. All right. Each of you is ordered to make a full and detailed report, written, in form, and presented to me. Do you have any other recommendations? I believe we should make some defenses against specifically werewolves for the Haven. I can do uh, research as to exactly what works best against them. I know silver, which we have some of, but we might need to uh, increase our silver ammunition. Very this good. institute does apparently work quite well on them. Any... I may be able to help keep tabs on them. All right. They do not appear to be able to um, see Hassan when he is obfuscated. Uh -huh. In your capacity as priest, do you have any recommendations? <clears throat> this is the part where you say Joseph has to do a, a pain thing. Please, we don't. We have failed in this mission, Yamamoto. And I recommend that we are punished. In, do you have anything in particular in mind? Let me think of a test of cunning that we can endure. <laughs> <laughs> and one that Joseph can't. <laughs> no, I actually kind of like Joseph. All right. I'll, I'll gain pleasure from his punishment. Um... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We should prove By the our way, worthiness. With, with this with this failure, is that a blood point loss for me? Oh yeah. Oh That's hold on. Oh no. Now hold we... on. I fulfilled my part of this like <laughs> perfectly. Are you going to voice that? No. Out of character <laughs> though. Okay. I'm saying Mary. Does Lysia really think Jean deserves punishment as well? Oh, yeah. You were part of the group. It was, it was a group, group failure. It was a group failure. If it was up to Lysia, everyone would receive punishment, mm -hmm. including John Moto himself. <laughs> <laughs> what I believe we should do in order to prove our worthiness... I forget what it's called. Uh, the test of pain where we uh, stay outside at the dawn as long as we possibly can. Okay. Yeah, I only got like two blood points right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, sucks for you. All right, I will. You can begin to make such arrangements. Okay. So just so you guys know, at the dawn, we will be outside of the haven <laughs> um, in we, the sunshine what? as long as we can possibly stand it. 
we will, of course, be delaying your punishment until after uh, the closing of the Litany of Blood, since, of course, um, we can't have you disabled while there are so many others in the city. Very well. But uh, once the city has begun to clear out once again, and we are certain that no werewolves will be attacking, we will handle it. Understood. All right. You are dismissed. Right. In that case, I'll go take care of Abigail then, because she's probably hungry. Yep. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll probably go try to feed. Also, uh, you two, your meeting is actually coming up pretty quickly. I was going to say, when? It's so later go, this evening. Go take care of your ghoul, and then we got to get going. So <laughs> Go make her a sandwich. <laughs> I will. Which reminds me, I need to be talking with Jean about what makes people happy. That's true. I need, I need to get an interview with Haru. All right. So, um, you two are getting ready to leave to go on your to meet your meeting after he takes care of his ghoul. Huh? Uh, well, it's not his ghoul, really, but I mean his pet. Yeah, his pet. Um, and then Joseph, you. She's still full human, right? Uh, she is a revenant. Ah. So she doesn't need to be fed blood. No. Okay. So, um, Joseph, you said you wanted to feed? Definitely. All right. Well, you are going to need to speak with, uh, someone to come out Somebody with you. Somebody to go out with you. But unfortunately, I'm busy. John. <laughs> uh, now, let's role play this. Is he the first one you go to? <laughs> Or do you go to somebody else? Now, Lisa uh, is just, like, giving you a horrible punishment. Well, that that actually makes Joseph very happy, though. <laughs> nice. Oh, Joseph, we are going to get along so well. Uh, do I know uh, Alicia is busy? Uh, you, she's kind of set standing outside of, like, the place for Hassan while, well, like, waiting for him to do something with his revenant. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I'll go to John first. You're busy, okay. Alright. Coat on. I mean, shoes are still on. You know, obviously ready I appear ready. like I'm doing something, okay. Yeah. Alright. So, John, Joseph approaches you. After you've just heard that you're gonna have to stand out in the sun for a long-ass time at some point... <laughs> What, Joseph? <laughs> John, I need some I blood. Like Do you mind? <laughs> Do you mind coming out with me so I can get some blood? <laughs> this sounds uh, so romantic. Really not in the mood. I what think, thing? uh, Zach, is it about time for one of our daily prayers? I think. Me and Hassan. <laughs> um, well, Hassan actually has to go. He seems to be getting ready yeah, to we're, leave. We're, Lizzie and Hassan are obviously doing something. It's about time for one of my daily prayers that I do on my own. <laughs> so it's like that, John? Take one nah, of the really, twins with you. obligation. I'm sorry. You Star could, you I, go with one of the twins. Why don't you just... You could just feed uh, Stalwar some of your own blood. No. <laughs> Why not, man? He'll he'll be more blood. Because I'm low on blood as well. <laughs> well, then you should go feed. Yeah, yeah man. Too. We can help each other out. Okay, how many times in the past has this not gone well for John? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, once, like ten seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach. My vinculum with Joseph is eight. How hard is it for me to just not want to fucking go with him? <laughs> oh. Uh, give me a willpower roll. Five. You're like, you're really trying. You're like, I really hate this guy. I do. I hate this guy. You, uh, you unfortunately really admire this individual. He's gonna have you endure a test of pain. And he needs guy. and he needs your help. He needs your pack number. The first thing the first thing I'm doing with any of my experience points is getting willpower to ten. <laughs> <laughs> so you can learn to stand up for yourself. You're yeah, still right, gonna go. have the flaw. What I love right, is go, go, go. 
Wait, so you could, you could call me a fucking terrorist, but you can't say no to this guy? <laughs> Vinculums are mysterious. They are. They work in mysterious ways. When did I call Hassan a terrorist? We went out to feed, remember? And I asked you to um, get a homeless guy for me? You approached me and said, that guy's a terrorist, <laughs> and I'm a terrorist. That was part of an act. <laughs> <laughs> You did call me a terrorist. It still, it still hurt Hassan's feelings. Yeah, I did. It he has not. I, well, I, I didn't you know, hear it. He has neither forgiven nor forgotten. <laughs> you know, his son has turned against him. <laughs> <laughs> How much? It's okay. You're a terrorist now too. <laughs> yeah, sharper than you. a serpent's tooth is an ungrateful child. Uh, all right. So you guys head out. Um, both of you head out in different directions. Uh, Lysia and Hassan take the car, obviously. So you guys are left walking. Um, so where would, uh, Joseph and Jean like to go to try and get some blood? Well, uh, what are you good at, Jean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, this is a mutually beneficial uh, arrangement. <laughs> like I know you guys I really don't know. <laughs> I know you usually like you usually pay for it, right? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, little little dig there, little dig there. Woo! Can you re-roll that pull pop? <laughs> Passive Listen, aggressive Joseph. crap that goes on in our vincular. Listen, saturated. Joseph, it's you who wants the blood, all right? Let you decide. All right, well, uh. Knock him over the head and drain him. That's what we're going to do. There are some people up on the fourth floor of the uh, building. Um, if you want to just stop off there. Well, yeah, we can head up there. All right. So how are you going to handle this? Just brute force or domination? Uh, please <laughs> the, dominate them. The two most yeah. polite ways to... Dom <laughs> you right. dominate them. Please don't do any harm to them. <laughs> Manipulation plus leadership. And are you draining them completely or just taking two points? Uh, that's six. And no. Just, just taking enough so they'll still be alive. Alright. Could you please refrain from that? <laughs> Wait, how, how many, many people are there? How many people? Um, there are two of them. Could you just take, like, one blood point or two blood points each? Well, you're down here, too. You're gonna need to get at least five, right? I'm not gonna take blood from them. Well, well but Stalworth. Yeah. Well, actually, what is your blood level, uh, Jean? At uh, five. All right. Yeah, you're still, you're not starving yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take two from each. Okay. Well, first, uh, I'm gonna need a self-control roll. That is three. Okay. Okay. So, um. John, what are, what are you doing during this? Are you actually going up there with him, or are you just hanging out down by the door to the haven to, like, go back in, or...? Uh, I'm monitoring him to make sure he doesn't go crazy on the people. Okay. So I so would never. You dominate someone and bite into, your ne into their neck and immediately go crazy on the person. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are absolutely starving at this point. Um, in future, it might be a good idea for you to not let yourself get that low. Get quite that low. Um, yes, but uh, as soon as you bite them, you just start tearing into their neck. Um, so you get three blood points immediately, and John, you can uh, see that he's definitely gone into frenzy. I didn't bring a gun with me. No. You don't still have the gun from the previous. Uh, Pistol would I actually like? Yeah, did we?
get settled down in the base for me to put a gun away and stuff? I mean, you got fairly settled. Um, if you want to still have the gun, I would allow it. I feel it. like, honestly, I feel like Jean just carries this gun around with him. Yeah, I, I would allow it. Thank you. You're very merciful today, Zach. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with it, because remember, there's still, like, a ton of people downstairs. Um, and also, the gunshots would probably be uh, hearable in the right, haven as well. Right, but he can, like, well. pistol whip him. I guess. Get his attention. That's what I'll have to do. I'll have to... I'm going to have to charge to Joseph and try to fucking... Will I, will I attack him? I'll try to, yes, you I'll will. I'll try to... I'll try to pull him off, I guess. Alright. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. So it is going to be a contested strength check. So, Jean, what is your strength? Two. Willpower point. Okay. Alright, and uh, Joseph, what is your strength? Uh, five. And then two potents, right? And a willpower point. <laughs> 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 that would just be spiteful. Oh, yeah, and two, yeah, two posts. This has oh been a fun God. session. Wow. Um, you basically just shove him off with one hand, and you take another three blood points from the individual. Mm, wow, they're getting down there. Oh, uh, damn, so this person's probably dead. Yep, pretty much. Uh, at this point, yeah, yeah, you've taken like six points of blood. People yep. are... Pretty messed up. People have seven or eight, so, you know. So, Jean, what exactly... Uh, it doesn't seem like that worked. Bash him in the head with the pistol. Alright. Uh, give me a strength plus melee. Or, uh, yeah, just strength plus melee. Two. <laughs> no melee. Alright. Um... And then, so our stamina is two, I remember that. Yep. Alright. Um, you feel like a light bouncing on the side of your head as someone's, like, kind of knock it into you, but it really doesn't hurt you at all. And you take, uh, another three points of blood off of this person. So they're Oh my done. god. They're done. Uh, yeah, at this point, definitely. So you're not getting anything more. So at this point, you stop. Um, you can get another blood point out of the corpse. Uh... And you kind of come back to your senses. Damn. Well, now you have a corpse you gotta get rid of. And as you're kind of coming back to your senses, John is still, like, basically kind of pitifully, but he is trying to save the person, kind of, I assume, up until the end. Uh, and kind yes. of knocking, the other person hitting you ineffectually. The other person is terrified <laughs> in a corner. Uh, you, they actually... There was no sound or anything oh. for this, really. I mean, there was a little bit of a scuffle, but okay. it was not vis. Nothing was seen. So, okay, nothing was seen. Okay. So now you got a corpse you got to get rid of. <laughs> well, at least there's still some blood in the other person left for Jean. Hmm. Oh, by the what? way, what? what's your conscience? I almost forgot. God. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, my conscience is one. Wow. You lose You're another point of moving. humanity. What are you down to now? Three? Uh, yes, I'm a at pack. humanity three. Start with what's your pack? <laughs> so you you might want to start talking about your pack, priest. You might want to start talking to Lysia about, um, yeah. About what can I, uh, <laughs> what can I, my, my path is humanity, but what can I change it to? Well, we can have that discussion. Maybe we can, That's we can something do that, that, we can do that do a little character. later, you and I. We can have a discussion about, um. <laughs> about what paths you might want to go on. All right. So what are all right? So what are you guys going to do, uh, Jean? You can see that Joseph seems to have eventually come back to his senses. What have you done? <laughs> this was the guy you thought was nice. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not a murderer. I took the blame. <laughs> John, I'm gonna take the blame for this too. Hassan, I'm, Hassan, I'm gonna... <laughs> wait, humanity, I'm still at five. What are you at? I believe I'm at four. Okay, and and John, you're at what five? Yeah, five. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just want to point out the four and three for the other people. 
that you thought were oh so nice. <laughs> Look, I, uh... To be fair, it was because he thought, because he was keeping a human, that mm -hmm. meant nice. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize that by keeping a human, he meant change them into a woman and then pimp them. <laughs> wow, I wonder when Gender <laughs> Madison was there. <arranged. laughs> well, you know. Hmm. All right. This is the first person I've actually killed, so... Uh, no. Wow. Well. I was gonna say, there's well, kind of the, blood feasts that you have, uh, farmed humans to. The first person I've killed directly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. You've offered to kill seven people, though, like, yeah, there's nothing. I was gonna nothing, say, so. yeah, you, you don't have a problem with killing people. Oh, that's that's true. That's, I can appreciate how easily you admit it. At this point, at Humanity 3, how do I feel about people? <laughs> I think that's up to you, my dude. Um, well, start with how would you describe your feeling towards, like, cows, cattle? I mean, you live in a rural area. I mean, shit, if they gotta die for me to get fed, it is what it is. Alright, well, there you go. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so... I look down the body, go like, well, gotta get rid of this now. <laughs> well, this is an empty carcass. <laughs> well, the trash bin, let's get it over with. Alrighty then. Jesus Christ. John, your rebuttal? Wait, what did John, what did Joseph, what stupid shit did Joseph say? Well, we gotta get rid of this now. We have to get rid of this now. Price. That was his response to what have you done? <laughs> Oops, gotta get rid of this now. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. you think I'm liver? You feel anything? <laughs> <laughs> you just killed a person, man. You just killed a person. Yeah, so, okay. So you just killed someone. I did? You know, I mean, it's not too late. Maybe, should we, you know... No. John, John, <laughs> he turned into a vampire, he took a drain of blood. You don't even let him finish the sentence. Uh, should we? No. Look, we'll, uh, go, we'll, we'll, we'll transport him to the river, we'll, uh, tie something up to him. Maybe, I mean, you know, we could save his life if we turned him into a vampire, you drained that, him of blood, really that's how you turn people into vampires. I don't, well, not, I don't know. In character, I have no idea, but I'm panicking. I just saw someone die before. <laughs> That's true. Valid point. Look, it's not that big of a deal, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like did cows. I, it's, I like it's like chickens. It's like he would have right died now. eventually anyway. You know. It's so, true. So I mean, dude, he's homeless. What kind of a life can he have? I put him out of his misery. Exactly. I can love this. I'm <laughs> um, like, would helping him dispose of the body, like, you know, the bad humanity wise? Um, well, at this point, it seems like the damage is already done, so I would not uh, impose any penalties for helping him get rid Plus, of the body. You can't have dead bodies okay. up here. If anything, so, it would just drag more attention to him and bring more people to his slaughter. <laughs> you need to just clamp down on this. Would it so? Would it be nice, true faith-wise, if I insisted he get a proper burial <laughs> instead of being thrown into a river? Um, you are not at that point to where you need to worry about it. You're just like we need to not burial at sea, burial at river. Same mm -hmm. thing. Fine. Fine. You Let's have already fine. okay, John. Here's the other piece. You have already fucked up once today with Yamamoto, and you got like stuck out in the sun for God knows how long. So. This, you do not want Yamamoto to find out about this. Okay, let's just go, let's just go. Alright. I'll, uh, grab the body, I'll try to use the shadows to, uh, to hide the body. Right. It costs a blood point, uh, to do that, but you've got plenty now, so don't worry about it. Gotcha. Um, you guys are able to dispose of the body, get into the van and get it to the river, no problem. It's pretty easy. Um, there are a bunch of homeless people downstairs, but they've kind of been... They've been dominated. They're, they're not going to look too close into this. If they see you carrying some odd package. Uh, this will be them one day, so it is what it is. 
Nice. I, I like new Joseph. Thanks, Joe, to himself. <laughs> I yeah. thought. You I thought that cattle. his follower of Set was like the most dickish nope. character to flip and nope. nope, we're here to Joseph. Joe's gonna be. <laughs> I want I wanted to, Joseph to be good, but But it just doesn't turn know. out that way, does it? Nah. Man. Yeah. Path to hell like, once he got the, with good intentions. Once he got the murder identity, I was like, might as well steer into the curve. <laughs> <laughs> I should make that the title. This <laughs> might as that's well steer true, into the curve. I was going to say, when you post it on YouTube, that's it. Might as well steer into the curve. curve. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Meanwhile, with you guys meeting. Meanwhile, Hassan, you and I. All right. Well, with the reasonable ones. Yeah. Yes, apparently we are. Do you have any drive, Hassan? No. Okay, apparently I am driving. All right. So you take them over to the uh, Black Cathedral, um, and you head into the... Uh, it's pretty packed, because there are a lot of Slipod visiting, and a lot of them are just sleeping in the uh, cathedral itself. But you guys are taken into the library, which is much quieter. You just mm -hmm. see a few Obertus revenants going around among the books. And you guys are taken into kind of a small conference room. And inside, there is uh, Elias the Whale. As well as um, some other, uh, as well as the girl that you saw with who had a uh, blindfold over her, her face and was saying nothing. Um, and then there are a couple of other uh, Sabbat there as well. Two of them you recognize as city residents, um, and you actually have been studying at the Library of the Forgotten for the Book of Nod, so you mm -hmm. uh, would recognize uh, Alfred uh, Benezri, who is, I think, another one of the bishops in the city. But he's an important Sabbat, regardless. Um, and then Molly Eight, who is uh, a Zemitsi like you, and is uh, one of the people who studies Molly there. Molly Eight? What's her name? Molly Eight. Okay. Number Eight. All right, um, and then there is a Nosferatu there that neither of you recognize. So after the initial introductions are made, um, she introduces herself as... Uh, Teresita, um, a Sabat from Mexico City. So when you guys are all sitting down, uh, Elias, who knows you the best, kind of begins the conversation. He says, we didn't, you're here under my own recommendation. Normally, we would not uh, bring in Sabat so new to the area. Um, however... We felt that it was necessary, given what you have already experienced. And based on what you can do to help us. As we've already talked about, there is an infernal presence within the city. I, we, Cap points to the others here, are involved in trying to deal with this threat to the Sabbat. We wish to approach you to join our group. And you are not tied with the Inquisition? Uh, Alfred kind of bows his head and says, I have some formal, uh, uh, some former rather, connection with them. And I still know certain people. Uh which should be able to assist us once we have more information. you have any questions, Hassan? Not really at the moment, no. Then I'll nod my head. Before we discuss any further, 
can I take this as an indication that you are both willing to join us? That's what I nod my head. Alright. So, we need your assistance. There is someone else who has been investigating this matter for some time. He went by the name of Zhu. Unfortunately, he is no more. Obviously, given the nature of his investigation, we have suspicions as to the cause of his final death. He carried on his investigation in private, um, and in fact, it was only after we began our own investigation that we began to notice that he had the same suspicions we did. We have looked through all of his notes, but there is nothing that we could find to aid us. Um, however, we have reason to believe that he may have uh, other, shall we say, uh, clues laying for other investigators. Alfred kind of steps in and says, the Inquisition uh, will often uh, leave such hints if they are investigating something and they fear they may be annihilated during the course of their investigation. So, uh, Elias continues, we understand that your pack has some connections with the art industry. Yes. We would have approached John ourselves, except that, frankly, we don't trust him. Understood. Zhu uh, had a number of art pieces. We have some of them, and we would like to get a hold of more. To that end, we would like you to make use of your pack member to find out as much as you can. Okay. I don't know how exactly you will do this, but obviously we ask that you do not tell him anything, since if we trusted him to know, we would have brought him in directly. Jean did have that drink. Anyway, <laughs> so we are trying to get Jean to tell us about these art pieces they don't have? About as many as, you know, they're, they have finding some... Finding where yeah. they were, finding where they are so we can obtain them. Is yeah. that the... Okay. And, of course, anything you and your pack can do to obtain them as well is obviously greatly appreciated. So, yeah, All right. that, that should be easy enough. Yeah. I think we can, I think, no, look at Hassan, I think we can manipulate him. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Um, in that case, we don't wish to meet for too long in any one location. So we will meet, uh, break up the meeting here. Um, you can uh, contact me, of course, through the usual channels. You have his contact okay. information. Oh, I do. That's right, I have his phone number. Yeah. Do I? You don't have a phone number. You have a dead I drop. Have a, I have a, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, okay. both of you. We, you guys yeah, have his dead say, drop we, location. Okay. All right. All right. So, says everyone, leave one at a time. You two, since you came in together, can leave together. Okay. All right. Interesting. So you guys are able to get out of the library and get back to the Haven. All right. And actually, it's uh, around this point that the other two are going to need to make use of the car in order to uh, get a body into it. So so as Hassan and Lysia enter the building, discussing with one another infernalism and Jean and Joe's possible involvement, down the back stairs behind them come <laughs> Jean and Joseph carrying a body <laughs> to put into the trunk of the car. Hmm. So. 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 Well, okay. So I, uh, so I, th I think it's going to be easy enough to manipulate Jean since, you know, he's showing so much interest in our, in our religions. And, and you are his father. 
So, <laughs> so I suppose we have. We should, um, we can come up with some, huh, how do we figure out how to get hit? Because how can he figure out which art pieces they don't have? Well, if it's an art piece out in the world, then obviously they don't have it. If they had it, they right, would have it. Right, but how do they know which ones are the clues left by this? They don't. They're, they that's get... why they're just collecting as many art. Oh, so. It's he... Jew's art, I mean. Oh, it's he's so the what? artist? These yes, he is the artist. Buy... So these guys want to buy a bunch of pieces by a certain person. Yes. Okay, I didn't realize. I thought he like was. Buy? I thought he had left clues in some other. No, like he left them in the, the art. art. So in the art. Barely. He... So we need to collect as much. So Hassan, you and I have suddenly become big fans of this. I'm going to assume he did religious art because he Sorry. was an yeah, inquisitor. Can I, can I interrupt with some questions? Like they want to purchase these fairly. No, yeah. you, you, we haven't been brought. You haven't been brought into the. I know. I'm asking out of character. But yeah, no, they just they just want them. We want them at any price. I'm not, but like those guys that we're talking to, you, out of character, am I? Just like yeah, they, they can just the buy them. They, the yeah, they're the sabat. They can come up with money and buy they, them. Why? How do they not trust me? Just like ask the paint painting dealer for some paintings what the hell anyway mm. apparently you're that awful because you you were the one you are saint croy or saint caliste or whatever his name is should you really saint be Cassie? talking about whether or not you are trustworthy enough when you're at the moment trying to hide a body yes. that's not an answer that no that has nothing to do with that all right okay so apparently these guys don't trust you i think how hassan and i are going about it going to go about it is i'm going to assume this zhu guy did religious paintings and you and i suddenly we need to uh it would be very good to have some religious paintings to help you know um with religion and you know jean he's been asking questions so uh it would be helpful in his um you know education as well so we need him to try and locate as many of these paintings as he possibly can Mm -hmm. Just get all paintings by Jew. That's mm -hmm. it. Because we really want them. Easy enough. All right. So you guys manage to get rid of the body. You come back and you... <laughs> apparently, John, you hear word that Hassan and Lizia would like to speak with you. Well, I don't know that we need to call a meeting. Well, I no. I think that but... would be a little more, you know, it, as we're passing him in the hall. Oh, hey. <laughs> you guys are waiting at the end of the hall. So, oh, he's coming, he's coming. No, I don't right. <laughs> have to do it together. I'm saying, let's look. I've, I'm saying it should be natural. It should be in the natural Stand right. the hallway for hours on end waiting. You know, the next time we see him, I'm sure we're going to go on some stupid journey with your mission with I'm Joseph. just saying, I mean, you see him around the haven. Yeah, I was going to say. At some point. All right, we'll do it. <laughs> so, and then it's just like, you know, hey, I was going to ask you, have you ever heard of an artist named... Jew, whatever. I don't remember. Anyway, Jew. anyway so I give you the name. Just Jew. Jew. Is it just Jew? It's a one name share kind of thing? Okay, so have you ever heard of an artist named Jew? We say to Jean. Why? Who stares at us and says, Why? I. I... <laughs> Lisa is slightly confused for a moment because she doesn't understand how why answers. Um, have you ever heard so, of So, all right, name think of it from my perspective. I mean, I mean, like... No, this remember? is natural. We're just, we're, it, we're... And you're an art dealer, right? I know this. I've been to your art gallery. <laughs> he also knows that you don't like art. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> matter. I'm at, why are you guys suddenly interested in something art-related? I want to know. He has drawn religious art, has he not? He has. He's done some very good religious art. Zach, I, I, Zach, do I know you? And give me an intelligence plus act. Probably academics. doesn't do religious art. <laughs> Five. The name does sound familiar. You do feel like one of his paintings may actually be in your gallery, but you don't remember exactly which one it is. Uh, you don't really remember what it looks like or anything like that. You just—it sounds really familiar. It sounds like you should have one somewhere. 
it's definitely not obviously one of your more popular pieces. <laughs> All right. So back into character. Not sure why. Okay. Um, so that's what we said. He did some. Um, we've heard at least that he's done some very religious pieces, and I was thinking of getting um, some things to help with rituals and and prayers and whatever possibly. Um, getting some religious art pieces was all I was thinking. All right. Likewise, and also I would like to make sure my room is a bit more um, hospitable, I suppose you would call it. I don't believe Abigail is quite uh, comfortable here yet. And do you think religiously themed paintings are going to do that for her? Yes. Alright, Zach, I, mean, I, need a con I need a contested role. Of all people, I would think Jean would know about finding comfort in religion. <laughs> I need a I need a contested role to see how suspicious they are and how dumb am I. All right, give me a uh, perception plus empathy. Did you say perception plus empathy? Yeah, I did. Seven with a specialty, and I have aspects, and I'm looking at their auras. <laughs> wow, you're suspicious. Um, you are terrified because they seem like they're being dishonest with you somehow <laughs> and then you realize you don't know what to do now <laughs> um you feel like yeah they're pretty definitely trying to talk their way around something by the way um in case you're curious the explanation for why they didn't trust him is they think he may be obviously Infernal, in case well, that wasn't I, I made was gonna clear. Say, no, and I figured that because he had yeah. that dream, and I don't know that, yeah, I mean, he says it was, you know, somebody else's signature, whatever. Yeah. Or, or he didn't sign his name, that was mm -hmm. the thing. I'm not sure you didn't sign your name. All right. So, yeah, you feel like they're being dishonest. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll look into it. Thank you, brother. No problem. I feel like you didn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> so are you actually going to be looking into it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the painting. Well, what can, I, what can I ask again if you don't find it for us? So, uh, first off, we're near the end of the night, so we'll just um, say you guys went to sleep. Uh, for the night, so everyone take off a blood point and we'll start again the next evening. Okay, that's probably feed Since too. obviously you guys so, need a little bit of time to notice he's not doing anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will I will text Haru and ask her. And right. then delete the conversation afterwards. Alright. So she replies that um, she does have, it is in the files, so if you have someone who's interested in it, you can just have them come by. And she can Religious. show it. Uh, Taoist. I see. It's like, uh, at least that's what it's listed as. It's some kind of, she reads a little bit further in there, and then she says it's actually like Zen somehow. It's supposed to, like, represent emptiness or something. Okay. I want you to stay away from that painting, and I might get dragged into selling it. Just don't get yourself involved. Um, she says, uh, all right, I won't look any further into it. I do have more files on it if you want me to get them, but... I can wait for you to come here. Yeah. Just pretend this conversation didn't happen. Delete it. Okay. <laughs> and then I delete the conversation. Okay. And she, and she rolls her eyes. Alright. So what now? Well, I'm withholding this information until they tell me why the fuck they want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I am... First off, going to require a willpower roll because you have the low self-esteem flaw. I'm not sure exactly how well you're going to do it holding out on this. Hassan is your father. Five. Also, you threatened to increase your willpower, so I'm getting as much out of this <laughs> as I can. Five. Um, so, you... 
are definitely starting to get the impression that it may just end up getting worse for you if you don't just back down immediately and give them what they want. So he's going to be a strong-willed, low-self-esteem self -esteemed person? <laughs> yeah. How, how is that going to be? Low self-image doesn't mean weak-willed at all. Um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily. It does. He's Willpower would help with them because when, he, cause when he's trying to deal with his low self-image, mm -hmm. you use Willpower to do that. But you could be strong-willed and have that. You did a great job, Sean. In fact... No, no, I did not Willpower roll. <laughs> <laughs> It really, it just requires willpower's rules whenever you're in a situation where um, you kind of don't expect to succeed. Okay. Well, anyway, anyway. from that, that reasons not to. Um, it is very difficult for you to do so. You could spend um, some willpower points whenever it comes up. Um, but your natural inclination is you should probably so just get this what? over with. Just get it over with. You already gotta sit in the sun with Lazia. It's gonna be bad enough. You just you don't you don't wanna we'll you don't wanna see. have to go through another test of pain. We'll see. Alright. He's gonna be down to no willpower. So, Hassan, you and I whenever I mean you can, go you've got time out, every John. yeah. We gotta seek him out. So um it is actually time for your uh, morning prayers. Hmm. And well, you know, let's you, go for it then. You did have questions about the book of Nod. Yeah, so. So you. So, yeah, you guys go into the garden, start praying. All right. Finish up. You're just kind of casually in the same room together. I don't know if. Hassan wants, Hassan to, wants say to say anything. anything. I will, I will. Or has he. I mean, has he really had time to look into it? Has it been. Okay. It's been okay. like. Uh, I, I, can, I, can casually, I can casually ask him. Okay. Have you found out about the artist we mentioned yesterday? Why? <laughs> because we because we asked. I don't believe your reason. Why do you want it? Uh, first off, I am gonna require you to spend a willpower point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a waste of a willpower. Point. It is. You're gonna be like down to nothing. Continue. You do not believe us. No. My friend, I must admit, I am a bit shocked at this uh, revelation. And a bit Just logic. puzzled. Just logic. Oh, and what's John's vinculum to everybody? Um, it's not really coming up because he already has to spend willpower to uh, oh. do it anyway. So. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Why do you not believe us? Because it makes zero sense. And your acting wasn't very good. <laughs> and he's got I like see. three auspects. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for werewolves, so does it? So what's I the see. real reason? Okay, have have Hassan and I figured out about I mean I could just tell David's you if you told me the real reason. Low <laughs> self esteem yet. Have we kind of figured out he, A little he bit. doesn't so Hassan, I say you play on this and be like, you know, can you trust your judgment? You did come to me for help in these, in these, you know, um, in guidance of this sort of whatever and blah, blah, blah. No, no, I have a better idea. I have a much better idea. Right. <clears throat> Brother, there is obviously a reason we are not telling you the exact reason why we want those paintings. It is partly for your safety. Surely you realize this. <laughs> Alright, first off, do I believe this? Um, so do you want to this check This is partially his... true. Do you want to, uh, check his aura? Uh, do I, uh, is there anything I have to do to be able to check his aura? No, I'm just asking if you want to. Okay, yeah, I do want to. Alright. Um, I start and... grabbing my head and screaming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> And I assume if he did find out, obviously, Hassan, you would have to kill him. So this is pretty honest. <laughs> um, there is uh, a lot of doubt in your mind. You don't really know 
what you can't read his aura at all. He's all of a sudden once he says that, he becomes basically unreadable to you. He's giving you this <laughs> you stab, like you poker face. <laughs> so he's lying still. No. You don't make a poker face when you're telling the truth. I don't know how to make an aura poker lying. face. He's He's concealing information. There's a difference. Concealing all of the... <laughs> you are you are pushing down all your feelings. You are putting all your effort into telling me this sentence, which means the sentence is clearly false. He's just looking there. He's just looking at you. You can't tell. You that. are you too scared tell. to read his aura. <laughs> all right. Uh. Maybe. I don't know. Does it really make sense? You could just tell me and not tell anyone else that you told me. If you want to continue to argue the point, I'm gonna need another willpower point. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this, this should be a relatively easy favor to ask of you. And so you will not be in to danger to over it. Like this. Zach, um, I would of what? course not forget what you have done for us. Zach, how does low willpower work? Um, I mean, you do you have points and you can spend them. So is there is it like blood where the lower in willpower you get, you start to? Spend no, not really. There's some things do cause the... call for you to roll your current willpower, but it, not not often. You're just feeling more tired. Okay, press X for doubt. Okay. I don't know. You could just tell me. Like, what if you just told me? Well, then you would be partially in danger. Nah. I don't buy it. That is unfortunate. I'm also yeah, going to bring up, obviously, <laughs> you don't need him to believe you. You need his cooperation. <laughs> I know, I know. One second, one second. This is where... Now, hold on. This is where love gets tough. Is your low like... enough that you're just going to manhandle me like Joseph? <laughs> oh, it's so... unfortunate you don't believe me. Please don't. begin. <laughs> <laughs> now, where is the fucking art? <laughs> Quite, yeah, no, yeah, no, this is where father love becomes tough right here. I wish we could have dealt with this peacefully. <laughs> Unfortunately, now I must, yeah. This is a relatively simple favor I'm asking for you. And I promise you, no harm or ill will will befall you for fulfilling it. And I will, of course, remember it and repay it in kind. Well, might it befall my wife? If you fuck with me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> if we're starting to make promises, I'll, I'll, I'll cut you. Right. I'll cut you. Right. I don't do. I don't you think have no doing. idea whether or not it's going to come down on any of you. Well, so 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 Jean's like, well, if we're going to make promises like that, I want them to be specific. Will any harm befall my wife? You know, she's involved in the gallery. I certainly do not believe so. No. I find it far more likely it would befall me personally. I, I find it far more likely it would befall me than either of you, and that is already unlikely. Would you be able to promise me you would try not to get her involved? Of course. You promise that you would try not to let any harm fall on her if she gets involved anyway. Of course. So did. Uh, so, did, Miles, did you feel, like take so, the patience you know, if we're virtue? Because <laughs> yes, I would be slapping this boy by this point. So, if we're talking about uh, gathering what each other's weaknesses are, <laughs> do I think that would be enough for him to feel any of that sort of honor bound shit at all? Or I am on the path of honorable accord. Breaking a promise is a pretty big well, deal in this path. Trying to get on the path. Yeah. All right. Well, then I guess I take. All right. Yeah. So I guess I would take promises from you pretty seriously. All right then. 
All right, fine. I'll tell you. All right. Thank you. And now I'd like to point out that you made a crucial mistake in saying you will try not to get us involved. <laughs> yeah, but if you fail, then you fail. <laughs> If I fail, I lose a blood point. That's not a big <laughs> deal to me. <laughs> I accept my curse. <laughs> all right. So are you guys all going to be... Who all is going on the trip to the art gallery? Oh, I would like to go. I'll I'm bringing you along, absolutely. Does Joseph have to come? All right. That's a question. If he wishes to come, he can. The other thing is you were kind of... I mean, you two were trusted. The implication mm -hmm. being no one else is trusted. Oh, well, in that case... So, I don't know. I'm just going to bring that up. Oh, that's true. We probably shouldn't. And he mm. might be because, you know. If you yeah. choose to read it like that. In that case, know. after I feed Abigail, I will also <laughs> warn her to stay away from Joseph. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Well, damn! I'm just saying, you know, the guy who you already suspect of infernalism might not be the guy you want to involve yeah. in the investigation that's of true. infernalism. That's true. We probably shouldn't bring him along with us. All we right. should probably keep it as DL as we can, not even Yamamoto yeah. or whatever. We just check yeah, out. You guys head out. Okay. So you guys head out to the art gallery. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll warn Haru in advance. All right. Yeah. She says she actually has um, a little bit of company over, but it, it won't be a problem. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Um, <laughs> what kind of company? Um, she says, is is Joseph with you? No. All right. Then uh, she says it's uh, his girlfriend who's with her. Hmm? Oh, God. What? What is she doing there? Yes, what is she doing there? <laughs> Text back. She's having some tea. She's really nice. Very friendly. Okay. Have fun. All right. So you guys pull up outside the art gallery. All right, so Joseph or and um, you guys can see the alternate havens of vehicles parked in the lot as well. Mm -hmm. So there's there's company. Um, the humans are fraternizing. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell them make nice, didn't I? Yep. Forget about that. <laughs> oh, well, you know, Madison needs to befriend her so she can be near her when she kills her. <laughs> So yeah, you guys start heading into the gallery, and you see um, uh, Haru escorting uh, Madison out as um, she's doing so. And, oh, they're like, oh, hey, and then, you know, kind of pleasant introductions. And as you guys are talking to each other, Madison leans forward into Jean's ear and says, I can get in here any time. That's my girl. <laughs> Wow. I understand. She has right. about two humanity as well. <laughs> a match made in heaven. Yeah, I can see why it's true love. Anyway, so she says goodbye to you guys and gets back into her car to go back to the, mm -hmm. the alternate haven. Okay. So, Haru says, uh, you're interested in the Zhao piece. I heard it pronounced as Zhu before. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, yes. We would be very interested. Well, uh, <clears throat> in that case, uh, I can look up the information for you here. We did uh, have it. Um, it's a piece of Zen artwork. Yes. I know you were interested in that. Oh, I meditate all the time. All right. Well, she takes you into the her office, and then she starts working on the computer. And then she says, uh, uh-oh. Well, there is a slight problem. Yeah. Um, as part of those records I was going to look through, it seems like we have actually already passed on the art piece. Um, but I can get you the name, like the contact information for the buyer. Please do. If you would like to right, speak well, with John's them. sweating blood. <laughs> All right. This is going to turn into a robbery or so a murder. She writes down the information and then passes it over and she gives it to Jean. And she says, it's, um, it's Enid, that, you know, that sweet old lady that would come in. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, she wanted it for some reason. Okay. Thank you, Holly. She didn't get into it, I guess. And I right. hope to uh, speak with you again soon. And then she kind of looks, and then she kind of seems to think about you guys, and then she kind of turns back to Sean and says, you are going to talk to her about buying it, right? Buying it. Promise. All right. Well, that's fine, then. If yes, there's anything fine. else you need, I can uh, talk to some of my other, some of the other people in the business and see yes, if there are any more paintings. Yes, if you have any more, we would love them. They're great meditation pieces. Well, I'd certainly be happy to do that. Thank you. I'll let John know if I find anything. Nice. All right, so you guys have the address. <laughs> does guys? the second you're out of earshot, does it start to go over the, all right, time to kill this bitch? <laughs> well, I think obfuscating, we want to draw as little attention as possible. So, okay. possibly an obfuscatory uh, burglary. Guys, you were going to buy it anyway. Just buy it off. Okay, it's midnight. How do you think old e is little old Enid still up, ready to negotiate <laughs> artwork? Just leave her a message. Is there a rush? Were you guys given a time limit? What is going on? <laughs> we really are anxious to meditate. We're very stressed, and the meditation would calm us. Can you tell me... How long you have to retrieve the painting? Are you allowed to tell me that? How long? We don't We don't have a time limit. But okay, my point is, no at what point... Leave a message for the old lady. <sighs> White men. <laughs> <laughs> if we must do it... In your entitled white man way, <laughs> then fine. These terrible white men are <laughs> for things with money. Hassan is like, you see the evil of the great Satan. <laughs> <laughs> that is sort of what you're getting here, Sean. That is very much what you're getting. Sure, whatever. So are you going to leave a message? Yes. All right. So actually, uh, someone does pick up. Give me a second. All right. So a man's voice answers uh, the phone. It says, hello? Who was making the call? I assume John uh, I'm does. I'm going to assume John does. Yeah. Okay. Okay, do I know Ian's second name? Um, you... Do. I don't have anything written down specifically, but but Haru got it you could get you could call her Mrs. Know. Whatever. Even if Mary Weather. I'll say, is this the uh, the something residence? Uh, yes. What is this about? Uh, I was looking for a painting which I have heard was purchased by Enid. Uh. Okay. For what reason? I was hoping to buy it myself. I was wondering if I could discuss that with her. Give me a moment. And then the phone is obviously handed over to another man, because a slightly different voice uh, answers. Um, and he says, Yes, uh, you. I understand you're calling about a piece of art. Yes, that's correct. Uh, which piece exactly? All right, I'll say a uh, is that a Zen painting by Zhu. Uh, what is it you wish to know about it? I was wondering if it would be possible to procure it. It is not. Is there? Is it up for any sort of negotiation? No price. Would it be available for viewing or discussion of any sort? Uh, that piece is not currently available. We are still in the process of cataloging it. Okay. Do you have plans to be, to have it all? Uh, it is not on the current, uh, schedule. Uh, 
Okay, thank you. Hang up. Time for a burglar. Uh, could I speak? Could I speak with Enid herself? <coughs> if possible. Uh, she is busy at the current moment. I make an appointment. When? Uh, sometime this week would be nice. Are you gonna mention your special, uh... <laughs> criteria after sunset? It would have to be, uh, after I finish work, so... Sometime in the evening past, uh... Whatever time of year it is, you know, so that the sun is down. Alright. Uh, leave your contact information and she'll get back to you. Maybe. Okay, I'll give her a burner phone number. All right. Well, he says, just, if that's I'll all, then good evening. Name. And he hangs up on you. Very cool. And you turn to see his son and Lysia cross-armed looking at you. <laughs> so. Right. Well, guys, what do you think? I think we steal it. I was going to say, yeah, I was, the conversation didn't appear to go well. Possibly an obfuscated I... burglary is what we need to do. And now they may be suspicious. Wonderful. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for alerting them, Sean. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> Look, I'll take a chance okay. I can't Sean. Jealous because she's a female character. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Damn, John. <laughs> So, what are you guys gonna do? Anyway, um, well, I think we go case the place. Do we, for now. I was gonna say, yep. do, can I, I, if I can, I'm gonna grab the contact information unless I've got it already. If I know what it is, um, if we have the contact yeah. information, Hassan and I can go take care of this from this point forward. You can do a quick um, scouting of the location if you want. Yeah, that, that'd be nice. Oh, and could I also uh, feed while we're on that while we're already out? Uh, sure. <laughs> if John doesn't want to object. I was going to say, I need, would need to feed too, but I don't... All right, guys, guys, right all right, guys, I got this, all right? Hear me. Do out. you? Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we killed two birds with one stone. Sounds good already. So, Hassan, you can assume the appearances of other people, no? No. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> all right, hear me out still anyway, all right, listen... <laughs> One of you guys take the appointment and if that doesn't work, you have at least been inside the building and might serve scouting purposes. Two birds with one stone. Uh, she, we don't have an appointment. She said, or he said she might get back to you. We wait <laughs> a week and if they, we don't get an appointment, then you think about casing it. There's, you have everything to gain, nothing to lose. Wait and relax. They may have sold off the painting by then. We received no indication that they were planning on selling it off. We've to received somewhere else. no indication that they are not planning to sell it off. Well, if they were planning to sell it off, why are they so adamant about not selling it off to other people? What if they got a higher bid? You still seem to believe that they are trying to sell it off normally. This may not be the case. Yeah, but that doesn't that's no reason to turn to turn down any random offers. Jean's like if this looking, is if this they're is looking for money, they're heart. gonna be at least they're gonna if they're looking for money, they're gonna at least entertain random offers for the painting. Well, believe what you wish. It's worth our while going. Alright, whatever. We'll 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 wait for now, and I'll indicate to Hassan that I will speak to him in a, <laughs> a little bit later. <laughs> we're just we're telling Jean. You meet up later, all right? Now. Um, let's just. So, where would you guys to like the... to go to feed? 
just anywhere in the way home is good. I just need like two or three blood points. Yeah. All right. I could do it with blood as well. All right. So, so you guys gonna just manhandle someone? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So um, uh, just give me a perception plus alertness. Six. So you're each able to find uh, some people. Uh, Hassan is able to, with his combat skills, basically just disable them. Um, is first off, is anyone below five blood points? No. I am at five. I'm at four. Okay. So uh, to start with, um, John, are you going to have some sort of moral objection to just having Hassan choke someone out for you to feed off of them, or? Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll handle that. <laughs> Always <Okay>. difficult. <laughs> I was going to say. You two are I'm able... sorry, you feel that way I say as I choke someone out? <laughs> you two are both able to get two blood points each. Okay. okay. And so what is your alternate suggestion? What, what do we have to hear you out on? <laughs> so we just get it done, and then we're like, okay, let's find somebody for Jean, and Jean's like, oh, no, wait. <laughs> Much like in real life, David is an extremely picky eater. <laughs> Yeah. It can't be a woman. It can't be. A... <laughs> he only eats when it's inconvenient for others. <laughs> All right. Was that too far? I'm sorry. <laughs> David's crying. Oh, too far. That really hurt. <laughs> All right. So, what's your plan? No. You good on it? What if I just like. Uh. And he thinks, well, maybe I'll just find a prostitute. Oh, damn, Joseph's comment, I always pay for it. <laughs> well, actually, it's more like, I uh, know I promised my wife I wouldn't. Oh, that's right, he can't see it. He's going to find a male Get prostitute. Get a male prostitute, yeah. You could do that. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do that. So you look around for a long time looking for either prostitute or uh, she didn't specify whether how transsexualism <laughs> factored into this it's a gray area <laughs> at four points of blood it's a very gray area you're eventually able to find someone i'm just gonna move us along uh but give me a self-control roll three all right yes you uh unlike some other people you do not <laughs> frenzy as you take a couple of blood points. Well, I mean, what's wrong with draining people? <laughs> Jesus. It's our, new, it's our new motto now. What's well, wrong with draining people? <laughs> it's someone's. All right. So. Everything's finished. You guys All just good. wait a little bit. Um, eventually, you two sneak out on your own. Okay. San and Lysia. Yeah. To go case the joint to figure out what we're going to do and All right. we're going to get this painting. So, casing the joint, it is a house out on Mount uh, Royal itself. Uh, it's surrounded by a large uh, stone wall. Um, there's some grounds. Um, you can hear the sounds of dogs in the yard. Um, and kind of, you can see that there seem to be guards on patrol as well. This is a well... Yeah, it's Security not... a place for an yeah. old lady. You can see there are cameras watching the area. Um, and uh, you can give me a perception plus uh, streetwise. Three. Son, is yours higher? Perception streetwise, it is not. Right. It's also free. Um, this looks like it might be someone involved in organized crime. <laughs> okay. I know about organized crime. The man. sweet old lady might not be as, uh, sweet. She's, she's a godmother. Instead of godfather. Yeah. No, okay. Got no reaction there. Anyway. All right. So, um, all right. Well, sweet old lady... Wow. 
Um. Also, when you're on Mount Royal, um, once again, vampires don't usually come into this area. And much like the last time you were here, going up to the cross, um, you get just kind of a bad feeling. Like the bad feeling I had when there were werewolves? No, like the bad feeling you had when, like, the infernalist monsters in the sewers came oh. after you. You didn't have any bad feeling about the werewolves. Oh, okay. So this is infernalism bad feeling. Yeah. Oh. There's something in this. Well, I mean, it's in this area. She, it's whenever you came on the, it was when you came on the mountain last time, it's when you come on the mountain this time, but she does and live down the mountain. Where, and this is where that little dwarf guy tried to run yes. to and say, oh, oh, save me. Is that, I mean, is it that is all, here? it is all a neighborhood of Montreal. Okay. So it's not like that was down the block. It is okay. a big neighborhood area, but this but is this that is area. very obviously a corrupted area. Hmm. Y'all should have brought me along. <laughs> well, he knows they, all that corruption. So here's the thing: Do we need to? I mean, do does the uh, obviously this is maybe more than Hassan and I can handle on our own? Do we report back to our to Elias and say, "Hey, we know where it is, but it's beyond our capacity to break in, just the two of us," because obviously it's probably organized crime. Mm -hmm. um, and just let them know where it is, and maybe they have more resources than we do? Or if they tell us to go, I, you know, I just, I don't know. Well, do you have anything to lose by telling them? I don't think so, because I don't know that our, our instructions were, I mean, it was to locate and obtain yeah. if we could. Obtain if possible. Okay. So. so the worst that can happen is that they then tell you, okay, try to break in. Which is what they're going to do, but I feel like uh, I, before we, I just... If there's no it, harm in seeing if that's what they tell you I first, maybe say, they'll do something to help you. I would say we let them know we know where it is. Alright. If that's... I don't know, unless Hassan thinks it's some honor-bound thing, then Lisa's going to nope, be like, absolutely. no, it's not an honor-bound thing. <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys I'm all business. All right. Head back. Do you leave the information in the dead drop for Elias? Yes. Okay. So just to kind of some time passes. Um, so a couple of nights are going to pass. Um, I'm going to let you guys get a couple more blood points. Um, each I'll roll to see. Um, so, Lysia, you can, uh, increase yourself, uh, back up, um, by five blood points. Back up by five? I don't... Go up five more from oh, where you're at. five more, okay. Time is just passing, I'm giving oh, okay. you guys a little bit of blood, that just we... to kind of move things okay. along. No problem. That's um, so, Hassan, you go up by one. Oh. Uh... John, you go up by three. Thank God. I don't have to fight again with anybody. Thank you. Joseph God. goes up by six, but he was already so high. He's basically maxed out. I guess he drained someone else. It doesn't require conscience rolls to murder someone anymore, actually, for him, so. Wait, really? No, it doesn't. You can just drain people all the time. I think, like, uh, like premeditated planned murder does, but just, like, killing someone in the moment... Uh, means nothing. Wait, my blood went up six. Yep. Yes. yes. You're like a okay, cool. Well, unless it, you until you reach max, obviously. I'm all full now. All right. You're barely right. human. He is satisfied. I'm quote unquote human. <laughs> During that time, uh, Jean, you have another little dream. So you find yourself walking the same weird uh, railway yard again. And right. once again, you feel yourself being drawn forward by the man. All right. Now, pretty much just like before, he opens the book and points to where your name is printed and motions for you to sign. All right, resist again. All right. You don't have to do any special rolls or anything to resist. You're pretty much in control of yourself. I will ask him what this book is. Why does he want me to sign it? He says, you need to sign your name in the book. There's a place right here. And if I don't? It's 
a sign of your allegiance. To? You know who. Well, then I refuse. You can refuse for now, but you will sign eventually. Your place we'll is see. here. Says you. <laughs> uh, I suppose you're not much of a believer in uh, election theology. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a Calvinist. <laughs> Interesting. New Age. There's no room for that stuff in the New Age religion I'm making. Unfortunately, uh, what you do or do not believe is inconsequential to the reality that your name is here and you will sign it. I... This isn't reality though, is it? It's a dream fam. This is as real as it gets. In fact, this might be the most real thing you've ever done. Or will do, as it turns out most real thing I've not done. Of course, when the time comes, you will sign. I don't know what will cause it, what you'll be afraid of, what you'll desire, but for some price, you will sign. I can't help you, Jean. You can't help me? Who are you? I can help you. Who are you? I think you know. Well, then you can't help me. <laughs> but I can. What is it that you want, John? That's for me to know. To break the vinculum? To be free? I won't say anything after that. I can give you that. Or maybe there's something that you're afraid of. Something you're afraid of losing. People are willing to do a lot of things when they know their unlife is in danger. But then you don't seem like that sort of man. I don't think death is the worst thing that you can imagine. Not your own death, at least. I wonder if someone were to be put in danger, though. Someone you cared about. What sort of deals would you be willing to make in order to save them? A vampire's soul isn't worth that much, after all, in comparison to the life of a real human. I will continue not to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty blood. You can take as much time as you want. St. Castine certainly took a while before he made his decision. But you will sign. And then he closes the book, and you wake up. Again, sweating blood. I need to see Lysia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be in the library. Lysia? We need to talk. Of course. of course. Dream. You, you had another dream? Yes, and I will tell her what happened to it. Okay. And I will look at you very, very <laughs> hard. <laughs> so you admit you've had contact with a demon? <laughs> like, and you did not sign this book. I did not. I had full control of myself, and I did not sign it. All right, so let me How go. fully do you detail the dream for Elysia? Like, completely? Uh, I... <laughs> well, I think... Uh, for the purpose of not revealing my obvious weakness that she already knows anyway, I will just keep it vague in that she <laughs> made very bad threats at me. So you don't have... Uh, the obvious solution was like, Oh, you threatened your wife. We should kill her so that you're not tempted in the future. <laughs> Yeah, so I won't do, I won't say that. <laughs> All right. All right. So can I'm I do... ask her? I will ask you, Lizia, Do you have uh, in your worldview? Do you have any knowledge or experience of 
the devil and his works. So I want to do an enigma roll. Okay. Is it wits plus enigma? All right, try and interpret. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would be intelligence plus enigma. Intelligence. Okay, so that's five. All right. Um, you have, you're not exactly sure what it could mean. It's difficult because you didn't get all of the information yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, but you do think that possibly, um, some sort of spiritual weakness on his part is opening him up to these demonic visitations. Hmm. Um, what's my, what's my view of Calvinism and this whole election process? It's definitely possible that he's already that you are, damned. That there is no point. That there may just, that... it may just be a time limit thing. Mm -hmm. okay. So do you tell me both of those things? <laughs> um, I probably keep the whole, uh, you're a walking time bomb to myself. Okay, well if you mentioned the spiritual weakness thing, that sounds like something we could work on. So yes, I will mention the spiritual weakness. And oh, yes, I can help you to um, strengthen your spiritual weakness. <laughs> strengthen out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about yeah, to say no, that. Yeah, no, yeah, strengthen, turn it into strength to, to purify right. you of this spiritual weakness. I am happy to all purify right. you. Good, all right, so there's something we can do. All right, cool, cool. Let's do that. What's the first step? All right, well... <laughs> I'm all ears, Lysia. Well, suffering is the best way to purify oneself. I was kind of hoping you were going to just say, get me that fucking painting. <laughs> well, I, I honestly saw the same thing. It, no, you, you're not understanding Lysia's nature. She takes it she's, too seriously. She's, she's going she's gonna, to she's okay. go with her thing. So, yes. So, obviously, suffering is the best way to purify. And you can suffer by getting me that fucking baby. Well, yes, and obviously... <laughs> Kill that old bitch. Obviously, yes, you will get us the painting. But um, I am happy to um, to help you to, you know, uh, self-emulate or self... Uh... <laughs> self-emulate. No, not self-emulate. Flagellate? You know, flagellate. We'll be doing That's the same self-emulation later, the, won't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, I can teach you to self-flagellate or, you know, or, or I'm happy to help you if you wish to All right. you know well uh in character i think even even the coward john would actually be willing to take her up on this offer at this stage. <laughs> all right we've gone beyond passing interest into <laughs> a spiritual weakness that actually sounds like something that can be worked on so yeah i'll do it um oh and the other thing that you kind of should think of is that if it's if this dream happened, then also you feel like it's kind of right that you haven't been trusting him with exactly why you're after the painting, mm -hmm. um, because it's possible that this may be a two-way communication, either deliberately on his part or not deliberately yeah, on he, John's part. he may part. not be aware of his, of his but link to the demon. the demon could definitely, it's mm -hmm. possible he could know everything that John knows. Okay. Hmm. So we have to keep him even more in the dark. Yeah. I will let in the Hassan dark and know whipped. At, 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 I will let Hassan know as soon as I can. But right now, I need to take John into the garden, and I need to whip him. All right. <laughs> well, if you told John, if you told John that that demon reason was a reason to keep him in the dark about things, maybe you know that at least be. And I may have to. I mean, if it comes up again, if if you give me if you give me bullshit again, I'll be like, you may be in league with a demon. Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Fair so, enough. So, I mean, that's that's exactly because Lisa is going to go. She's going to play on your whole um, low self image. Low self -image. <laughs> she will. She totally will. Uh, but yeah, but no. Happily, I take you into the garden and I I happily whip you, um, in an effort with me, to, mommy. Uh, to yeah, no. <laughs> All right. If, if you know if if. If you used your perception plus empathy right now, you would notice Lisa is getting slightly turned on by the whole thing. <laughs> All right. So, um, basically, yeah, so about like a week has passed, um, and still there's been no word from the old lady. Okay. And have we heard anything back from the committee? You have heard back from the committee. Um... No, actually, you. What you heard back was they have received the message. Okay. 
Um, in that time, something has happened to Joseph. While you are at um, just sort of a, a Sabbat event, again, celebrating the while the litany is open, um, and the pack is there, Joseph, you are approached by Elias, the whale, who is the Nosferatu that saved you in episode one. Uh, what can I do for you, Elias? Well, first he takes you into kind of a more secluded area where you can be alone together. And he says, I have certain information which suggests that you may be interested in acquiring some, you know, and he makes the sign with his thumb and forefinger like, you know, he's holding cash. Give me one second. Like Elias, well, I don't know that we're bloodbound to him. We've never done a vinkum with him. I think you have done one, yeah. maybe. I don't have. Maybe you haven't. I don't have him down though, no. because we met him and he left. Yeah. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick while Stalworth does his thing. All right. Start with back yet? Nope. All right. Nope. Where did he run off to? I don't know. He's like, oh, shit. Crap, I'm going to have another thing I'm going to mess up. <laughs> Got to run away. Well, I'm going to go get a drink while he's gone. <gasps> All right. So what should we have Jean agree to while David's not here? <laughs> gonna be his son's bitch <laughs> he agreed to let joseph uh turn him into a woman and then <laughs> turn him, pimp him out that was pretty hardcore like i'm just wow i didn't know that i i that would have been fun to role play though that well, whole that well, whole lesia i got an idea well just the three of us are alone here i'm just gonna point out that was pretty hardcore <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, Star Wars betrayed people in the past, but holy cow. That was another level. <laughs> it, it seemed like it was thought out, too. Like, yeah, it wasn't feel, a spur of the like, moment. I feel like during the week he thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> like, what can I do to that guy? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need some money. Dude, I mean, the next time you capture someone... <laughs> When he starts blood bonding them, you guys need to be like, no, but seriously, you don't want this to finish. <laughs> yes, I did indeed have that thought out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Honestly, he's been listening. <laughs> so, uh, you're back, so he, you know, says, you seems like you're interested. I've heard that you're interested in maybe some dinero. <laughs> Do you want to change a man into a woman and pick it up? Good idea, by the way. No. Oh, anyway. Well, here I am. <laughs> um, I would be. Uh, what do you propose? Says, I happen to know of a certain location. There are a number of pieces there that I wish to acquire. Art pieces, that is. Um, I can give you the location and a quick rundown of the building. And then if you are able to arrange the manpower from your pack to acquire these objects, 
then I could definitely take them off your hands and give you some... basically fence them for you. Interesting. Um, and what do these uh, pieces mean to you exactly? <laughs> Um, it's just some uh, art that I think that I can move. There are a number of valuable pieces, and I happen to know some people in the uh, underground art world. Um, I've been obviously casing this place for a while, but it's just come to my attention that you may not uh, be uh, a newcomer to the world of armed robbery. You are well informed, uh... I'll have to talk it over with my pack, but uh, I'm very interested. If you can uh, convince them to do it, then obviously they can have a share of the cash as well. Excellent. I'll talk to them about it. All right. So anyway, more time passes. Eventually, Joseph gets the opportunity to broach the subject with you guys. And I've told you that I've vicissituted my heart. Into yes. Okay. So, so guys, I've been approached by uh, Elias the Well about uh, stealing some art. I just wanted to, you know, run it by y'all, see if y'all was interested in gaining some uh, money. Okay, well now I'm immediately so immediately suspicious. So like where exactly does So that's my question, Joseph. Uh where where exactly will we be we be stealing this art from? Uh He can give you guys the address. It is definitely it is the, the address you know, that you had passed on. So I'll glance over obviously to Obviously he's assisting you. Yeah. So obviously I'll glance over to Son and I'll I'll be like, Yes, I'm very interested in I will In not. Mission. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> He's not back yet, is he? He says Sounds he is. Like you just said so. Guys. It worked what out. What was that, sorry? You guys. Uh, I mean, you guys passed on the message to Sean that was a friend. You don't know that, though. Rice. He um, did, but yeah, I don't think in character. We yeah, you weren't John familiar that. with we that. We didn't tell John that. Oh, I'm ass I'm that on to me. So no, we didn't pass that on to you. Okay, well then, do that. Why would we do that? Because John about to say, I don't want you got any. Okay. <laughs> You're breaking up. You're what breaking was that? Up. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, because John's gonna say, "Do we have to steal from a old lady, guys? We never got our call back." I know we didn't get. Do you call really back. think it was an old lady? What you mean? Did you talk to an old lady? On the phone? No. Well, maybe the old lady is a cover, Jean. Okay, what if it turns out that she's not? Then we'll have stolen from an old lady. <laughs> Who cares? I believe my conscience can live with that. Mine definitely can. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we were quite open to that. <laughs> so. Stealing from the old, that is the most honorable thing a man can do, isn't it? <laughs> Star Wars is just like, can I blood bond they her and pimp her? They won't live to be able to feel sad about it. Why? Because you're going to murder them? Because <laughs> they are old! <laughs> old doesn't mean about to die. So you could have like 10 years left. That's nothing. I'm going to go over, I'm going to put a hand on Jean's shoulder. And I'm going to say, you know, Jean, we know about your weakness. Wow. Understand 
that this was not an old lady. You never spoke to an old lady. The old lady was a cover. But no, I know the old lady from when she come, came to the gallery. Yeah, she's a cover. She's an old lady that comes into your gallery, but she is not the one that has the painting. I mean, you're just saying that because it's convenient for you if it Jean? happens to be true. <laughs> There's only one way to prove it. <laughs> I, guess, I guess let's go and look. Let's go look at the place. If it's the house of an old lady, we'll, you know, we'll consider your words. Fine. All right. All right. So you guys go out. Basically, it's the same way I described it before. Um, guards, a guard dogs. Security for an old lady. Cameras. Well. Stone fence. Well, rich old ladies need protection. <laughs> you don't believe that, do All you? All right. So Not I'm assuming really, no. we did uh, check out some... Uh, uh, we, well, we need to actually case a place to figure out how we're getting in. Yeah. So um, it, you are in um, a very upper class area, so the police do uh, respond there. And this is a heebie-jeebie place. We got in front of us. Um, you somewhere. guys can... John, especially with three dots of aspects, you definitely feel the infernalist presence on the mountain every time you go there. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this is a freaky place. Um, yeah, nice old lady living in the infernalist <laughs> like mountain. <laughs> in some ways, it feels strangely alluring to you, but... <laughs> hmm. Seems like a regular Catholic sermon to me. <laughs> and then, um... Yeah, maybe, ni maybe nice old ladies don't live here. Um, and so if you want to get any closer, you can just kind of see the front gate. I mean, with like some binoculars or whatever on the street, you can see the front area but to actually scope out, see if there are any other entrances. You're going to have to, uh, jump the fence and get in there. Leave that to me. I was going to say. Right. Oh, Up you skate it is. All right. So you're just going to hop over. Um, do we have any idea what's on the other side whatsoever? Um, no, but once you climb up top, you could stop and survey. Do I hear anything at all? Um, you do hear the sounds of barking. Like dogs. Okay. So in that case, I can't use uh, quietus. Does obfuscate work on uh, animals as well? It does, right? Um, usually, although it's possible it may not. You know, you've never really tried it yourself, but from what you understand, it should. All right. Yeah, I'll climb up to the top and get a look over. All right. So, first off, give me a strength plus athletics. Strength plus athletics? Yeah. You have to haul up your own body weight to get up on top of a, like, eight-foot-high fence. It's five, then. It's actually not as easy as you think to lift your own body weight. I don't think it's easy. I know it's not. <laughs> okay. I figured, it, I figured, I figured it would be dexterity. I just figured you had never tried in your life, Miles. So you would. I have. <laughs> and you didn't make it. You lost your blood. Point. I can do like pull-ups. Not a lot, but I can do them. <laughs> All right. So you uh, managed to get yourself up there. You do see that there are dogs patrolling in the yard, and just planted on the other side is like a thick, like briar patch, basically. Briar is what, sorry? Uh, it's like thorns. berry vines, it's like thorns. Okay. What else do I see? Do I have the binoculars with me? Um, you could get some, yeah. It's Looking around, it looks like it's mostly just dogs in the yard. There's also a small shed out in the garden that you could um, check out as well. So this is essentially the Higgins residence. <laughs> uh, the shed is freestanding. It's not up against any walls or anything. I will relate this information to the others. And also, has, the mansion only has two floors, I believe. All right. And a basement. Could have a basement. You have no idea if it has a basement. Do you believe I should proceed further? Is it possible to kind of go along the top of the top of the wall? Is that is it? Can you balance? Yes, up you can balance up there. And rather than get down in right. the yard with the dogs and just sort of run around. The Actually, are the, are the dogs reacting to me at all? Not yet. 
but when you try to jump and clear the briar patch and land, they might notice you. If they're trained guard dogs, they probably wouldn't react to just someone who isn't necessarily within their specific field. So you may be just outside of it. Hmm. So well, yeah. Let's look around. Skirting around the side of the wall. Do you have cat like balance? I can't remember. Let me check. I do. <laughs> Alright. So you look really cool walking along, like tightrope walking this fence. Uh. It doesn't mean anything. I wasn't going to call for a roll anyway, but it looks cool. <laughs> and if you weren't obfuscated, other people could we see could it. We could have seen it. You were obfuscated, so it doesn't matter. John can see it. But you're thinking to yourself. This is all for you. Like, like if I'm a little wing as I do a backflip. It's an audience of one. All right. John will John will clap for you. <laughs> the wing killing rating goes up by one. <laughs> so you go around the side, and... Um, you can see that there is also, well, there's a garage uh, right up next to the uh, mansion as well. And then there also looks like there is a back door. Um, there are definitely cameras watching all the entrances. And there are porch lights over the doors keeping the area illuminated. Uh, you don't see any human guards on patrol. But they may be inside. There are definitely lights on inside. Inside the, um, the mansion, house. inside the shed, sorry. So, okay. I'm inside the house, and also it looks like there's a room above the garage, and there's someone in there as well. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea how we're getting into this. Well, now. Can I see more of my binoculars? Can I, like, make anyone particular out? Um, not really. It's pretty big, but first give me a perception plus security. That would be six. All right. You do notice uh, one small opening in the uh, cameras, which is that uh, it looks like they do not have cameras watching the garage door. All right. That could be useful. You also spot that there are also motion sensors attached to, like, security lights as well uh, out in the yard. Hmm. All right. I'll be jutting all this down somewhere. All right. Anything else of note? Or no, that's about it. My... In that case, I believe my casing is complete. I've gone the entire circle, haven't I, yeah. at this point? You basically just walk all the way around. Right. So that's all the note. Those all note noteworthy things I found. Yep. Right. Now the question is, do I dare jump in and investigate inside? By the way, uh, if you guys knew you were coming on robbery, what guns would you have taken from the armory? I'm still just bringing my knife. Yeah, I got my. I'm, I'm, I might. I might bring my um, scimitar. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Can I conce can I conceal that effortlessly? Um, you can conceal it in the van, and then when you're obfuscating yourself, yes. Dottie brings his curved blade out again. I see. As as John's like, it's just an old woman, <laughs> <laughs> and she shall taste my Damascus I, steel. <laughs> I told you, she will not live to feel sad. Why not? So did Jean bring a gun? Old people are about to die. Yeah, Jean brought his machine pistol. All right. He's <laughs> on his pack mates when they try and take out the old lady. She could be an infernalist yeah. old lady. We don't know. Well, now that he's yeah, here, he, now realizes, he realizes things are bad. But And I don't know, what, is, know. what does Joe have? Uh, a revolver, whatever, pistol, you know, whatever strongest. All right. He's got like three guns strapped to his back. <laughs> um, you could also bring like a rifle with you if you wanted. Like oh, by the way. Yeah. Now would be yeah. the time to say I better not be seen helping with this heist since I'm a worker at the fucking gallery. <laughs> <laughs> um, you uh, really are not necessarily uh, under employment records there anymore. Haru may have taken care of that. Unless you specifically want to still be listed. Well, you are like, listed. You know, so, like, I don't want to sound obsessed at this stage, but 
Uh-huh. That old lady, for example, has personal experience. Of, like, she knows me. Yeah. yeah. So you don't want to so, be seen by her. Inside. All right, yeah. yeah. So you I'll, be I'll, be, I'll be wearing I'll be wearing a balaclava. I was gonna say, do you like nice. okay, let's, let's, if we're doing burglary, let's do the balaclava. Maybe I should be. <laughs> maybe you can't all grab I the same. The car. Yeah, maybe I, say, I should be the keep the car running kid? guy. You guys have all the masks that you wore at your last uh, armed robbery. Yeah. You could wear so, them. Yeah, I say we just you know stick those on it. But how are we getting in? We need a plan to get in. Yeah. All right. All right, so here's one suggestion. All right, I'll stay and keep the car running. <laughs> and With ram it through pistol. the gates to so, get yeah, in. I was, but that would, then they would notice us. They all fire on us. Yeah. How do we... Do we go in? That's the question. Do we go in guns blazing? Frontal assault? No! That old bitch won't know what hit her. <laughs> I need more animalism so I can turn those dogs. You do already have. You have enough animalism to, to you can issue commands to them. Can I? I thought I Oh, it's summon that's two, right? Yeah, summon, summon is two. So I can issue commands to them? Okay. Am I confident that I could take care of the dogs? As confident as you are gonna be in your manipulation plus animal can rule. Alright, I'm fairly confident. I mean they're well trained. But, you know. But they're tra that's going to work against you. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But they're well trained, yeah. so I don't know. Yeah. But I could try. You're least, only going to find out once least, they've noticed you. Yeah, I was going to say, at least I could maybe keep them off us. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to look at Joe and Hassan, because they're, the um, they're the two muscle boys. I'm not particularly muscly. Well, you're a fighter. Right, but you got a sword. <laughs> I can give you my sword if you want it. You're, you're a warrior, in, in my mind. You're a warrior. You know. I'm an assassin. Okay, well, you kill people. You're part of the warrior okay. cast of Clan Asimite. This is. I'm telling you, Lysia's, you know, mental image of you is warrior who can kill people. All right, all right. You thought that's how I can kill a them. murderer. <laughs> I, I can, well, I can I like kill them Hassan. if they don't know Joseph I'm there. Joseph is a murderer. I'm looking at Joseph's him. Joseph's a murderer. straight up murderer. Hassan, Hassan. honorable yeah. warrior who kills people. You guys are far more combat ready than I am. So I'm looking at you. I'm like, do we go? Is it a frontal assault? Is it a sneak attack? What is it? Well, what is it? I want a police sneak. to be called. So we should probably go sneaky until well, we have to go. Well, is organized crime going to call the police? Mm, well, point. I mean, if it is organized, then yeah, it probably does have some cahoots with the police. It depends on, also, uh, you are, when if you get into combat out in the yard, you think the gunshots would probably be enough to alert neighbors as well, which is something else to keep in mind. Inside, it's pretty far back, so depending so look, on... We do it like we do in any video game ever. We go stealth first when we're found out, which was <laughs> the full lethal. Then we go all right. All right. So how many uh, how many dogs are? We don't shoot the dogs. <laughs> you always shoot the dogs, dogs. because because dogs. dogs don't count on your non-lethal at the end of the. Uh, I think the mission. I can I can maybe handle probably if they're one at a time, I can handle them a little better. Um, you don't know exactly how many dogs there are, but you know there are a couple. They've they've been moving around too, so it's hard to keep track. But probably less than five. Okay, is there a is there like a guard front gate? Um, there are no guards actually on duty out there. Um, they seem to, if they're there, then they're inside. So it appears to be just the dogs and the motion sensors and the cameras outside. In the yard, yes. Can they, uh, can the guards inside, can they see outside and see if the dogs are still moving around or not? Um, there are some windows, but it's nighttime. They probably wouldn't see, um... They're waiting for the dogs to yeah. bark or alert them yeah. in some way. Okay. All right. Well, this should, this should be simple enough. <laughs> so how do we get in? Because I probably am not going to be able to climb an eight-foot wall. Could I perhaps open from the other side? Um, you could try and force the gate open. Also, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, 
Joseph has like two potents. He could just throw you over, or he could gently lift you up. Oh, okay. He, so he could get. He's strong enough. Okay. He could punch through the wall if he needed to. <laughs> All right. Well, let's not do that. So, okay. So if we can climb up, and Joseph can give me a lift over and throw me over the brambles. Nobody tosses a meatsy. <laughs> no, I'm okay with being tossed. It'll be. I'll be it'll be, it'll have to toss me. Once we get up there, oh, you'll have to toss me. <laughs> go for a go for a fastball special. Wait, <laughs> don't tell the toy anymore. <laughs> what are you quoting? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Ah. Uh, has to toss Gimli. Never seen Lord of the Rings actually. Oh, well. <laughs> what the? Oh, my. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. All right. Bane's the boot, yeah? <laughs> Fuck off! No one, no wonder you thought that you live under a fucking rock. <laughs> He's been practicing his fighting game combos. He has no time for anything else. I've gotten really good at them. Ask him oh, anything dude. about Marvel vs. Capcom and <laughs> he will know it. And anymore. I will know fucking nothing because I don't play that game. Like, did like, how did you even come across tabletop games? Was there a fighting game spin-off of a tabletop game? He was playing Street Fighter the RPG. No, as I was watching Zach's Let's Players on YouTube, but he asked if someone wanted to join. How did you find Zach's channel? He doesn't have any fights. <laughs> I watched a lot of Let's Plays, okay? Alright. So, you guys get up there. You guys are able to leap over. Once you've identified the brambles, you're able to leap over them or get tossed over them successfully, and you guys are in the yard. All right, are the dogs, I'm assuming the dogs are noticing us? Um, yes, they start to approach you, um, and you do hear some barking. Okay, well, I'm going to be very calming, very we are friends, we are, you do not notice us. All right. Hush, hush, hush. My so, children, hush, hush, hush. Manipulation plus animal can. Six. Okay. So they do not start attacking you, but they are kind of looped around you, and they are starting to bark louder. Shh, I can't get them to quiet. Um, they are not getting quiet, although they are, again, like, refraining from attacking you. Hmm. They're just kind of hovering around you. Okay, well, I'm going to lead them away from any lights um, where people might see them. <laughs> uh, um, um, how do I get them to quiet down? I am obfuscated at this point, correct? <laughs> um, yes, you are I obfuscated. I you are obfuscated. Um, I, I also figure you're right next to these two, though. Yeah. If you want me to just quiet them down, I can do that. I was going to say, if you can do quiet us, I don't know how, um, how big but I don't know how, 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 will, how will the dogs react to, I well, believe it's 30 feet? Well, they'll still be barking, I you mean, could get them all within your range, yeah. I was going to say, if they're all around me, I'd say do a little quietus here until we figure out what to do with the dogs. All right, quietus is up. All right, okay, so. so the barking stops. All right, so now... Um, now kill them. I was going to say, I'm going to get rid of the dogs. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of don't, kind of don't like that. feel a little bad about that, but I don't know what I to don't, say. I don't either. <laughs> you can have Joseph do it. He doesn't feel anything. I was gonna say, <laughs> how many dogs are there? Uh, there are four. The one for each. <laughs> can I yeah, just simply I... can I simply touch their vocal cords and disable their vocal cords? Uh, now? You could do that, yeah. Okay, so I will just do that as well oh. as I can without hurting them. All right, give me a dexterity plus body crafts. Um, that's five. Uh, yeah. While you're while you're disabling the vocal cords, Joseph disables the brain. <laughs> no, I keep him away from them, so I'll keep them there. And now they're quiet, and I'll nod to. It's them. quietest, so they won't hear the gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, do they appear to like me? Can I make friends? Um, they don't seem to be actively hostile towards you, okay. um, but they are not playing. friendly towards you. Okay. All right, but they're quiet now, at least. Yeah. No more barking. All right. Okay, so I'll nod to the two of them to get. I'll keep these dogs at bay. I don't want to leave because they're. I don't want them to 
I don't know what help I'm going to be to you inside, honestly. Well, the other thing is, I mean, they're they're around all of you. You don't know if they're following oh. you. Oh, well, okay, then let's make some tentative movements to separate. I'll try and keep the dogs with me. Um, they also seem to separate out and, like, follow you as evenly as they can. And I can't call them back to me. Not really, no. Can you put them to sleep? Forever. I was going to say, I can't put them to sleep. I don't think. <laughs> you could have the muscle man choke out a dog. I Go guess. Go to sleep. <sighs> Should have brought some food. Should have done. I mean, you could just leave too. Although, now you'd we... have a hard time getting over the bramble patch. Actually, do you have the power that lets you turn your body into blood? No. Damn it. Oh well. You could kill the one and feed him to the others. Yeah. Jean is just gonna freak out and start shooting him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean they're just dogs. As says Joseph as he rips one's head off. <laughs> um which at this point. He might actually. We may we may need to. We may need to kill these dogs. You could feed off them if you wanted to. Absolutely. I was gonna say We have incentive I'm now. Full. Uh, it, I, I'm I saying, could use uh, If you're gonna points. kill them, that's a kinda silent way to do it and they won't necessarily resist you guys. So okay. So I guess I mean we can so yeah, Hassan if you need to. Go ahead. Is that what you guys would are? you be would you be okay with it? Um, well, I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> can can we drain them with enough blood just so they pass out? Not really. You're pretty. I mean, you have no way of guessing that. You're probably just going to kill them. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm draining them. Fuck it. Okay. All right. So there's enough for uh, each of you to have one, if you wish. Uh, a dog contains two blood points. I'm taking at least two then. I'm full, so I'm good. <laughs> so you just kill them. So, well, up. the other two can have them if they want. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, how many are there? There's there are five. four total. Are uh, four. Joseph doesn't need one. I don't really need one. If Hassan wants to take two of them, that'll leave two left. How many can I get to um to stay with me? Do they continue to separate out? Um, yeah, you okay. could get one with you. I mean, it would you would basically kill them down until there's one left. Okay. Is there anything to tie him up with? I don't know how you really tie up a dog. With a, does he have a collar? You can you you could use the one. intestines yeah. of one you of them. Could, you could uh, he does have a collar, but you don't have a rope or anything. No, really, use the intestines in front of them. Yeah, you could do that. Mm. It's a little fucked up. It's a little gross. It's like Joseph thinking. I, not, I mean, any straining, he's going to pull the intestine apart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would never do something that nasty. I mean, oh, yeah, you know, I mean they're not, they don't have a lot of tensile strength. It's just gross. Hum, hum, hum. Remember, Joseph, you're barely human. <laughs> That's true. Okay, I'm... It, Completely unrelated note. Would I be strong enough to just rip their heads off? Yes. Would I be strong enough to rip a human's head off? You're getting there, yeah. Some more potents, probably. Ah, okay, cool. What the fuck? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> He's gonna turn into a monster. That's what happens when you spend all your experience on potents. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Are we just putting these dogs down? I think we just need to put the dogs down. I All don't right. see any other way to do it. If I can't tie them up, then... So like I said, there are eight blood points total. You can divvy them out any way you guys wish to. All right, I'll so... just go to full then, so that's yeah. two left. All right. There we go. And then, well, I, if Joseph just winds up killing all of them, then I'll take a blood point. All right. So, 
We've managed to deal with that successfully. Okay. No one cares about killing humans, but the second I bring dogs into it, everyone's well, like, oh, I know, can't kill they're, them. We, they're so, you know, they're innocent creatures. <laughs> We've bellyached more about this than the human I that uh, Joseph <laughs> murdered. But I, I feel like Lizzie has more We attention. like dogs. Yeah. I mean, I got a snake in my... I like animals. Humans are, you know, awful. All right. So you guys are able to creep forward. What is your means of entrance into this place? Probably the well, garage door, since it doesn't have any cameras. Yeah. All right. So, you guys approach, and you can start to open up the garage door. So, as you guys are heading inside, um, I'm gonna... We are approaching basically three and a half hours now. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys if you guys want to just finish this up or if you want to save it for next week. Well, how long do we have? Like another hour? I left? mean, we can go however long you guys want to. Well, I mean, oh. Um, this, you guys have to finish this mission. This agonize over every stinking thing, and so it's going to be like another three hours? <laughs> I, I don't know. It depends how quickly you guys go. Uh, might be safe, safe to call it. Here. Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to have to think about this. Starworth, you be thinking over the Pretty week late for me and Miles. of some sick okay. thing to do to these guys. What was that, David? I was, I was speaking well, on your behalf for you and saying it's very late. So what I'm going to do is uh. I'm going to give you guys uh, end of story experience here, and I want you guys to make all your decisions about how you're going to spend your experience points because we're going to do it in the middle of the next session. Just mark it on your sheet somehow that, I don't know, put it in parentheses, something like that. That's what you're going up to. Oh, okay. Um, so you won't be able to use it during the rest of this mission, but after that, we're going to move ahead. So, first things first, uh, what did you learn? We can start with Jean. Uh, hmm. I guess I learned the identity of the person coming to me in my dream, and what they're all about, and what they're trying to do, and, uh, I learned a bit about pain from Lysia. Okay. And Lisa, what did you learn? Hmm. Well, I learned about the new committee that is uh, that Elias the Whale and the Bishop and everybody are on that are investigating the infernalism. Okay. And uh, Hassan, what did you learn? I learned that werewolves cannot see through obfuscate, or at least these ones can't. Okay. Some werewolves cannot yeah. see through obfuscate. I, I hope all of them cannot. And Joseph, what did you learn about yourself? Uh, I learned that uh, human life means nothing to me. Okay. Uh, and also that uh, werewolves can be uh, slightly dominated. Okay. okay. Um, and so we're doing end of story experience too. So point out some time since the end of the first session where you helped out the entire party. The entire pack. And we will uh, start with Joseph this time. Um, getting the werewolf to kill the uh, the hunter. Okay. And uh, Possibly, Hassan. Uh, let's see. Casing the place. All right. And Jean. Uh, to get away from the werewolves. <laughs> Everyone's taking him from this session. That's fine. <laughs> and uh, mine, is really, mine is really story long, or uh, yeah, well, story long. Um, I have helped each member of this pack um, to purify themselves from spiritual weakness. All right, you're helping them stay on their paths of enlightenment. Um, at some point, we're gonna need to handle that. I guess that's something else we can do next week: is handle the conversation between <laughs> Joseph and Lysia. <laughs> What path <laughs> about be steered on himself? Uh, and I can send uh, Star Wars some literature to help him decide maybe what mm -hmm. paths mm -hmm. call to him. Um, and who uh, won the experience point award last time? I don't remember. I don't one? either. Me neither. I think David, but I don't That's know what I think as well. I think it's David. All right, so David, who are you going to vote for? That sucks, because I felt I was feeling confident about winning this week. Yeah, well... Yeah, I think you, you did really good this one, yeah. I'll give it to you. Facts. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, golly, I guess Star Wars. 
All right, let's start with your Evo. He for. is barely human. <laughs> I, I know. Human. He did. He did embrace that, didn't he? Oh Who are you voting for? David can't win it again. Nope. Nope. Ah. Uh, hmm. I say Mary. All right, Mary. Who are you voting for? No, have Miles go first. Uh, well, you you've already got a vote though, so. Oh, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, Miles, who are you voting for? I don't know who to vote for. I'll give it to Mary. All right. Well, then we're going to have a tie. Or or I could make myself it depends. win. Do you think it's Hassan, and, uh, or do you think it's... Uh... God, can I give a half point to each of them? My goodness. They were both... Then you would still win. That would be no difference. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it to you this time. So, uh, Mary, you gain eight experience points. Everyone else gains... No, wait, not eight. Uh, seven. Everyone else gains six. Damn it. Um, and you guys can decide how you're going to spend it, and it will, it'll take place in the middle of the next session. All right. All right. Mm. All right. And so I'm so going I... to end the stream and the recording here. All right, then. See y'all. Bye-bye.